Hello and welcome to a magical podcast. Uh, anyway, this is the uh, you know I'm yeah fuck it. This is the Lava Falls podcast, and uh, I'm here with the boys. Uh, you know, go ahead and introduce yourselves, gentlemen. Hi. Hola. What's up? Yo. <laughs> We've already ruined this intro. Yeah. I thought you were gonna like. I thought you were going to like say your names. <laughs> instead, it was. Instead, it was just. Oh, hi guys. Oh, oh next just, person, please. Oh, hi. Just six introverted asses in like this fucking room. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Point here, here, fine. I got it. Be a bit more I got it. I, I, I got it. Oh, I got I'm it. an introvert, but I. I, I got know. it. I got a better idea. I fucked up. I should have. Do you? I, I should have. I should have. I should have fucking said you guys' names, and then you guys say whatever. So, okay. Well, we'll restart the intro. I mean, I'll just edit this. No, 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 it's perfect. No, okay, fine. We're still, fuck fuck it. We're still recording. You, Everybody's gonna you, hear this anyway. You I mean, can, no, it's you not can, live. It's it's not live. It's a. It's not live. So. Oh, but like you could keep you could keep it, but as then you bloopers, don't have to as bloopers. As bloopers. Yeah, yeah. Get out. <laughs> okay. Well, all right, the whatever. Intro was perfect. Anyway, cool. All right, so we got Dan here. I mean, Blade. We got Headless. We got Jordan. We got <laughs> fucking Sam, myself, and uh, Darren here, and we're just shooting the shit, chit chatting, blah blah blah. What's going on, guys? Yada yada yada. How goes it? Really How fucking goes it, gentlemen? What are we all doing? I'm Nothing. Um, Watching I'm a race. I'm right now. I'm depressed. <laughs> You're depressed? <laughs> Why? No! Why? That's not good. I wanted to give it a one of my favorite local bands, a local punk band, is playing their farewell show tonight. And I oh, can't fuck. find a fucking ride. And you're, and you're stuck here doing this shady podcast. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> you're just like, I want to go to the show. I want to see my friends. I want to mosh, but I can't because I don't got a ride. I don't drive. I don't got money for Uber. I'm stuck here, and I'm pissed. <laughs> and, and you chose to spend your night doing a goddamn podcast. Hey, not just no, any, doing... not just any podcast. This is our podcast. Am I right, boys? Is, is this a is the this the point where we all go? Woo! Woo! the communist. Oh. Maybe the podcast was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, hey, the, maybe that's a how one piece is going to end. Remember. It's just the friends we made along the way and all the corpses we we acquired. <laughs> that's 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 what everybody's been saying for years, though. So, like, it's definitely going to end like that. Oh, my God. Why is Gran Turismo so loud? Oh, no. I, <laughs> I got to turn down the volume. Holy fuck. Is it, is, it just, is it just the random turbo that plays... No, I'm on four. I'm on. I'm on GT four. Instead of instead of doing your masterful podcast, how dare you? You're I'm really no. We're wow. no. We're literally all doing our own you, things while we talk. You if moron. You can, if you I'll play walk. Right now. I yeah, I might as well just I be T-posing in the my room. My room, but I can't because it's on a wire. So, um. Okay, I think I turned off the volume to GT4 now. Um, yeah, so, no, we're, we're just gonna sit here and chit-chat and blah, 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 blah. Um, it's fucking dull. How's that fucking race going? Where are they racing at? Daytona. Oh, yeah. Your favorite... Na- your it's all the 24 hours favorite. of Daytona. Where else would they race? Fucking Italy. Actually, <laughs> yes. Yes, they would, Blade. You would be correct. Would they? Yes. They were. They're they Daytona, they're... everyone's favorite NASCAR track. Mine's actually Both Talladega. Mine, my, my favorite NASCAR track is Talladega. Even though well, I really don't. You're fucking up, Sean. You just turn left. <laughs> That's not yeah, true. It doesn't matter. If, it doesn't matter if it's in like fucking Houston or whether it's Florida or whether it's Japan. They all just turn left. That is fucking cool. Oh yeah, it's cool. Why is there just... music still? 
This is making it's me mad. Cool. You know what's funny? Fun fact. Right. Did anyone know NASCAR actually did this one-off race in Suzuka, Japan back in 1997? Did they turn right? <laughs> did they turn right? Yes, Only they did. That must have <laughs> and it was a success. Out of them. That must have Weirdly really enough. the shit out of them. Headless, headless, I wouldn't you're be the, surprised. Headless, you're the Grand Turismo I'm expert. Only, How do you turn I'm off only, the, the, all the sound to the game? Because this shit won't turn off. You go on, t as in on the settings for the emulator or the settings for the in game. game. In game, like I turned off all the audio, but there's still like audio, which is weird. You can you can just, as in, are you not wanting any audio in the game at all? Yes, no audio at all. Okay, I... just go go to your um, volume mixer and then just mute the just mute Gran Turismo your emulator. Oh, how do I mute the emulator? Don't have to You're emulating a game. How could you? Is it under? Yeah, a game that a game that he more than likely owns. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Audio. So, there we go. Okay. Now he understands it. I got it. Thanks, bud. I did it. Did you did you do it though? Yes, I did. I turned off all the audio, so now I don't hear shit. Cause in GT four when you start events there's a little do 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 Just some chill ass music in the background. <laughs> I'm driving a, a PT cruiser following a Pace car. Music. <laughs> oh yeah, all of you are GT experts. Which no, not what, real. What fucking, not really. what fucking license am I doing right now? I'm driving a PT Cruiser. I don't, I don't know. know. You're doing, you're well, doing a, a license. All right. I figured Sam. Yeah, you're, yes. I figured Sam would know this. <laughs> I bought some really cool Hot Wheels stuff lately, you guys. Um. I bought a World Race on BHS for like six bucks, and on like eBay for ten bucks, which I'm surprised I bought it for this low of the price because it's been kind of going up in price lately. It's Hot Wheels beat that for the PS2. How? How yeah, could it? Speaking of prices going up, speaking of prices going up, uh, did I mention I'm in a bit of a bidding war right now? Wait, what? I want to hear about this. I don't. I've just seen. Yes. I've, I've just seen, I've just seen the game go up in price online. I'm like, why the fuck is it like twenty five dollars now? Why? Wait, wait, what game? Twenty five dollars for an old ass Hot Wheels game? Beat that yeah. for twenty five dollars? Oh my fucking god! Mine's literally less than a dollar. <laughs> I, I was like, I see the price. So I'm like, why are these games so expensive? Mad you know, hum, mad hum, <laughs> humans are retarded sometimes. <laughs> Oh, people, no, are that desperate. people are that desperate to play fucking Drone Spectite. <laughs> no, Drone Spectite. <laughs> drone oh, spe oh, I get the joke, because it's the fucking Cosmic Realm one. It's all about that Water Realm jackhammer. Yeah, it's basically the... Yeah. Anyway... Hey, so... Wait, hold on. Before, yeah. before, before we continue on, I was about to make this joke. They can't even own a, was it? They can't even own a Cosmic Realm Spectite, so that's why they oversold that for like, what, 25 bucks? So fucking lame of them. Did <laughs> actually buy a fucking Drone Spectite, what? Hmm, mm, interesting. I only just bought the game because I want to revisit the child memories. You know, being like 12 years old and being the only Hot Wheels World Racing Accelerator fan you knew. It was so cool playing this game, and like the first track, you see like, you know, you see like the first ignition DVD all over the track. It's like, my first sense of thought was like, who the fuck is buying like 50 copies of ignition and setting them up just for a Hot Wheels track? That's weird. That's weird to me. <laughs> I, I get it if someone's like, I get it if someone's like rich, but in like all these Hot Wheels games where it's like, you're on a track. Like, like, okay, stunt track drivers. How the fuck did they, uh, were they able to afford? Like, you, you guys ever played stunt track driver on the PC? You know, 
like there's a scene in the beginning. There's the intro. The intro cut scene. It shows like a fucking delivery truck coming in and delivering all these fucking Hot oh, Wheels. Oh yeah, tracks. I saw that. That basically I'm the right. kid basically gets a shit ton of Hot Wheels for no unexplained reasons, and <laughs> other than we can assume either some of his parents either work at Mattel or he entered a sweepstakes and was the grand prize winner. Or I don't know. It's never explained. We but all. Then, we all. And after several hours. He ends up building a fucking big ass track throughout the whole house. I would hate that. You know, honestly, as much as I love houses, I would hate to fucking come home and see a bunch of tracks in my house. Why? I mean, like, that would be fuck? fucking awesome. Like in the house and then leading to outdoors in the backyard. Your entire her house is just like covered in Hot Wheels tracks in some intricate. It's sort of way. All the meanwhile, there are Hot Wheels hot air balloons in the sky. It's almost like, what the hell is going on here? Is there some Hot Wheels hills party going on or something? Devil, I'm no, not that was I I invited. It's starting to sound like your wet dream. <laughs> I mean, I would like to have a Hot Wheels track that went throughout my house. That'd be great. Same. Same. Except, I, except for the fact that I have to clean it up. Or I'll probably just leave it there and clean it. It's just, I, I, plus, I don't know how t anybody finds the time to do that stuff. How do you have so much time? Don't you have a school or something? Homework? Are you home school? Maybe it was during summer vacation or something like that. It. But even then, I, every summer vacation, I wouldn't spend that much time on it. I'd be playing video games or something. You know, as a kid, I, I didn't just do Hot Wheels. I played video games. I built Legos. I watched movies. I read Same. comic books. You know? I, 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 maybe I would, the kids I'd homeschooled the or something. Who the hell knows? Who knows? <laughs> it's all maybe the Twilight just Zone. A... Man, this thing sucks a turn. Maybe, maybe he just has okay. like a long-ass fucking summer. Loki, though, I do miss playing that game. I mean, honestly, when I started gaming, I started on my old mom's old Windows 98. I did actually play the sequel over at, like, a friend's house back when I think was, um... I think it was back in, like, 2002, 2003, Real Story. Hey, I was over at, like, a... Like, I had a bit of a play date with this one kid, and, uh... He apparently had the sequel, all, like, getting dirty... He the yeah, yeah, I actually got to binge that game back in, over at his house. <laughs> I had um the how those games I had on my old PC I had fucking uh most soundtrack driver games and I had Hot Wheels Jets. I had Hot Wheels Micro Racers and then I had the um one of the uh Planet Hollywood Hot Wheels games, like you get with like the special kind of car. I still remember what kind of car it was, but I can't remember the exact name, but if I saw it, I'd be like, oh, there it is. And honestly, at some point in my life, I'm going to get an old Windows computer, and I'm going to buy all these games online and just be like, you know what? Current year sucks. Let's just go back to, like, 2002 or some shit just, like that. Because just buy fuck it. it. Do what I did. Buy a $1,200 PC that does everything. And, uh, yeah. You bought a $1,200 PC? Jesus. Yep. What do you think I've been? Built mine. What do you think I've been d using this whole time for emulating? It was... Well, I thought that you maybe you know did the normal thing and just made one like everybody else would. You think I have the knowledge or the capacity to do any of that bullshit? Uh, uh, so I also I heard basically you? that um, building your own PC is really sort of like not not worth it. This whole like like I don't know. It's just way too convoluted, even just for like me. And how do I know this? Is go watch on YouTube this one YouTuber called Cat Icarus and listen to his story of how he tried to PC build and a PC, a PC by himself. And yeah. Yeah, but Cat's, Basically, a, Cat's kind of an idiot, though. I guess just, just He's a PlayStation on nerd. All he does is do PlayStation shit. I'm a PlayStation nerd, but I still taught myself how to do a PC. Well, here's like the thing. I, there, a guy at my work was selling his PC, and I wanted one. And uh... Okay, that's that's fine. If he was selling his PC and he was looking rid of it, that I, that I can at least excuse. Yeah. Not if you like, went to Walmart. No, no. I, I, did, I did my research, because like, I was legit. like, 
in my work group chat. I'm like, if anybody knows anything about computers, let me know. And one of these guys was like, well, I'm trying to sell my $1,200 PC for some money. And he told me all the specs. Like, it has a shitload. It has, like, four, five terabytes of, like, uh, of fucking memory and, and a bunch of cool shit. Jesus. Um, but yeah, it, it was expensive, yeah, I'm rock, but it was I'm worth it. I'm rocking four terabytes as well. It's good rocking four terabytes. It feels good. I thought I had sent you the stats and everything for my computer. I probably didn't pay attention to them if I'm if I'm brutally honest. You are drunk right now, anyway. <laughs> no, I just I just don't I just don't want to pay attention to somebody else's PC specs. Yeah, and I'm not drunk. It, I'm tipsy. As long as it works, it, it works. <laughs> yeah, I mean it does. What it, it, it's so funny because it's like I haven't really done much with it, but at the same time it's like. I, I'm really picky about like games, so like I've really only uh -huh. been emulating PS2 games, and right. oh. I I did find a PS3 emulator which Headless is gonna cry about because I tried to get him to help me find one and he's like no they don't fucking exist but I just found one but I need to figure out it's, how to get okay the okay then try and get it to work go on try playing Grand Tourist with six on it do it <laughs> do it coward. <laughs> you don't want to help going, me, you fuck. I'm going to bet that shit doesn't work. I'm going to bet that it breaks. I'm going to bet that it takes forever to load. When it loads, the graphics are shit, and it's all broken. I'm going to bet. He's just going to make your work just to spite you. I don't care. He's a great guy. I Speaking just, of games, I just want to yeah. play fucking Dun Gundam Dynasty Warriors One. Like, <laughs> I'm so angry that the first game isn't fucking on the PS2, but the second game there's a PS2 version, and I'm like, why? Why did they just not make the first game a a, a PS2 version, but they made the second game a PS2 version? I don't get it. It's so Is it weird. like a Japanese exclusive? No. Or, but just for some reason, oh. Gundam Dynasty Warriors Two is on the PS2, but the Gundam Dynasty Warriors One doesn't have a PS2 version. Which is super weird. And I liked the first game because the story was really good. I, I liked the premise and everything. It just was really cool. I played it on the 360. And also Headless says that there's no Xbox 360 emulators. So, I'm like, god damn it. Speaking of games, I just wish Hot Wheels Unleashed has, like, fucking crossplay for Steam and Epic, which... I spent so that much money. bucks for that, and uh, it's not even fucking worth it. Yeah. I only had it for one day. Okay, I can't play with my friend anymore, so I uninstall it completely. Fucking milestone cash grabbing piece of shit. Yeah, dude. I I was actually thinking about doing a full on review of Hot Wheels Unleashed and putting in my input on what could have made the game a lot funner and cooler. And but I have a lot of really cool ideas for the video breakdown. And Milestone ain't doing shit about it. It's, and I'm so fucking mad about it. Yeah. Like, they said, oh, we'll try to implement crossplay. Oh, wait, where's the fucking crossplay? Oh, I'm sorry, we won't implement it. Fuck that company. Pieces of fucking selfish ass shit. Um, the, thing, the funny thing about the crossplay shit, they're, they're going to release it on Game Pass. Uh, people have found a way to like port your Steam data onto the Microsoft version of it. So, if you want, you can just pay like a pound for like Game Pass and just port your Steam oh, data onto the Game Pass oh. version. Oh fuck! Hold up, they're putting Hot Wheels Unleashed on Game Pass. Yeah. Oh, I just my subscription just expired. Fuck. And it, my, and people have found. Milestone be fucking cash grabbing, cash grabbing, cash grabbing. They don't care if they make profit. I mean, no, like they, they care if they make profit, but they don't care about the fucking people that are playing on it and wanting something from it. And that's why I'm like, yeah, screw this game. I don't feel like installing it anymore. Yeah, it's fucking ass. It's it's almost as if video game companies are there to make money. Yeah, and they only care about money, especially companies like Hot Wheels or even Mattel. They don't give shit about the people who want fantasy models. They want money, money. That's what the world we're living right now. You know, they uh, really that's just want. What to we're living in period. Yeah, you know, oh, I well. think if Mattel really wanted to make money, 
they would just get the fucking fans what they want and just give us something World Racer or Cell Racers related. Yeah, I except, know. You know. They would make except, a shitload of cash if, if they brought back something from Cell Racers. Except here's the, here's the problem. A quarter of us are literally the Cell Racers fandom, and the rest of them are just casual, happy-go-lucky consumers who basically buy... They're soulless products that Hot Wheels milk, like especially the uh, Fast and Furious series, which to me, I found it quite of a fucking chore to buy because of the people who scalped it for expensive prices and also the fact that, um, how do I say it? Those, uh, the people who think that, oh shit, this premium line looks so good, I think they're completely wrong because they're basically just saying that it's good, except for the fact that it just looks absolute dog shit. Like, I don't know, they've been milking the franchise to death, in which to me that makes it boring, and that's why I did not even buy the premiums. And if you've seen the recent releases from, like, last year or this year, man, I want to... I want to beat Mate I want to beat whoever, basically, is in charge of these premium lines. Honestly, fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, um... You know, imagine Fast and Furious. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've never seen a Fast and Furious movie in my life, and I have no plans to. Holy fucking shit! Yeah, actually, dude, watch the, the only first one three. I suggest watching is uh, <laughs> Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift is a good one. The first I keep three. hearing Tokyo Drift is really good. I keep hearing they're good, but it's just like I've just never had a chance to actually sit down and watch them. It's like with fucking uh, Game on, of Thrones. Are they on fucking Netflix? God, I, I, just, I can Netflix. get you like a way to watch them without like paying for Netflix. Like we've been paying for subscription you mean pirating? Uh, you mean pirating? No. Yes. yes. No. More or less. <laughs> no, no. Devlin, you do know that emulation is piracy, right? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You're saying, you're saying all this. Is. <laughs> you are literally saying all this shit about, oh, emulation's really good, and, you know... And then I've tried. You're, you're, you're scoffing at, oh, no, don't pirate movies. No, I'm I'm being <laughs> funny. Hot, hot and kettle. I'm being a funny... I'm trying to be funny, freaking ding-dong. There's, there's, diff there's different Why types the of joke? funny, though. Speaking that of emulating... You don't understand my funny I, uh, I've ever tried emulating a Wong at Midnight Maximum Tune game, it's... Pretty nice, but it doesn't feel the same like in the arcade. Jesus Christ. I missed the arcade. The only time I ever emulated was like back in eighth grade when my counselor, he somehow managed to give me almost like the entire library of NES games on my computer back then. And all I do is play just like the Mega Man series, like like uh, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, maybe a little bit of 4. Those yeah, that was early. literally almost like my whole entire 8th grade in a nutshell. Damn, you guys are hella old compared to me. I, I think, wait, hold on. When, wait, what was it when you were like 8th grade, Sam? That was like, uh, 2010, 2011. Jesus, was I was like, like 14, fucking... 15. Jesus, I was like yeah, fucking 7 or 8 years old. <laughs> I was like 4. Uh, 4. You played the youngest year. Wait, wait, who's the youngest? Me. I am from oh. the same year as Bone Shaker. I am the same age. Wait, right, hold on, hold on. So, Bo wait, hold on, Bone Shaker. You said Bone Shaker, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, oh, I'm the oh. same age as Bone Shaker. Right, that over milk casting to death. I'm basically the same age as the Highway 35 movies. I <laughs> love Bone Shaker. How dare you, sir? I'm as old as Road Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> I love Bone Shaker. It's kind of sad what they do to it, but yeah, I still love it. I hate Speaking what they did GT, to like. I'm actually playing GT2 right now on the PS2. Speaking of racing right. games, I was playing a set of Corsa, a and they told us. Headless. <laughs> Headless. Yeah. Can the PS2 emulator emulate PS1 games? No. Yes, it can. I don't. I don't see why. Well, not. at least on my console, yes, it does. No, it not is not the console. I'm talking about the thing I have. No, no. From what I've tried, it can't. Damn it. GT2 just is... go get a play just ah. go get a PlayStation 1 emulator. Oh, those actually they're diamond work? dozen. Yes, they're diamond dozen. Oh cool. I'm actually about to play I mean, PS2. Cause like, the, I, I love Gran Turismo 2. Two and four are my favorite games. Four being my number one favorite, but I, two was the first ever Gran Turismo I played and that one just has a lot of nostalgia. 
I mean, I played the first one. I remember getting sick from it. Um, I think I remember playing like the fourth one back in my childhood when I had like a PS2 thanks to my uncle. Uh, I think I I've ever drove like a what is it? I forgot what's the name. It's a Corvette C. Six, ah, shit. four, five. Uh, no, I think it's either the I think it's the fifth version of the Corvette, the Does... C5R. Okay, yeah. You know what? Is that pop-up headlights? Yeah, the pop-up headlights one. I used to remember, like, I remember using that car a lot of times, but then my uncle beat me in, like, racing games so much. Well, but apparently, well, I know how to play it, so... Okay, so, for all of us here who have played Gran Turismo, what is but your not favorite... The here. What is your favorite Gran Turismo track? Like, isn't that just like... Like just a is it more exclusive or? It doesn't matter. Like the, I, I guess more to be more detailed, the fictional tracks. Okay, I, I can't I, answer that because I don't. I know don't enough. remember. And I, yeah, same. I basically. I think my well, favorite has to be maybe like Red Rock Speedway. That's from GT2, right? Yes, it's the evening track with like that really huge. Huge banking. Yeah, I love that track. That's definitely probably one of my favorites. And Midway. I like Midway. Because it's What's mid the midfield. Oh, yeah, midfield. My bad. Well, midfield raceway. I think my other favorite track, I think it would have to be. Like. Okay, like. I think it has to be maybe like Tahiti Maze. Like, it can be any version. Like, GT2, GT3, but I think GT4 maybe had the best. Like, version of Tahiti Maze today. Is that a rally track? Yes, it's one of the rally tracks. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, <laughs> one, the, one from, the one from GT Sport I really liked. But GT Sport sucks. Yeah, it does. GT, GT Sport 8, well, to, for me, because, like, I've ever played it. it it's not that bad, I'd it's say. Ass. It's terrible. There's no campaign. It's stupid. Oh, yeah, fair enough. It's, yeah, it's meh. That's a literally, <laughs> after, after GT... I mean, if I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be honest, after GT4, I think the series really kind of started to go downhill. Honestly, when they basically transitioned to HD, the era, like honest. beginning with their you know the concept, because quite frankly, I think I kind of enjoyed GT5 Prologue, even though at the time of its release, I had no PS3 whatsoever. I've just seen that. And, okay, so, like, for, you know, like, a, for, like, a semi-decent PS3 launch title, it's all oh. right. And then, of course, as you know, the final version came out after we had basically yet another placeholder, GT PSP. And that game I pretty much remember binging on my PSP back in, like, my freshman year and just being absolutely mesmerized, not only just by, like, the menu music, is not gonna lie, that menu music still slaps Holy to this shit, day. The menu. This menu sounds so good. Actually, I think when and the I other thing Grand was, was stopped focusing on the cars and started focusing on the graphics. I think that's when a series starts to go downhill. Yeah. Mm. But uh, to be honest, like considering the racing games has like, well, I don't know, has fallen to a state of what, fucking. <laughs> I don't know, there's like no growth at this stage, it's just like stagnant stuff. I mean, like, you see the recent releases, like, GT7 being ass, F122 being like, completely fucking subpar. Forza 5 is okay at its best, but then at the same time, it's kind of... I like Forza 5, it's a I mean, I pretty cool well. game. I feel like Devlin would fucking get it. Yeah, but, you know, at the same time, like... <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the DLC releases are just well. Yeah. Fucking headless, I mean, the, headless is holding the, a gun to my head. <laughs> the, only thing, the only thing I really dislike about about um, Grant about Forza Horizon Five is the fact that like some of the most desirable cars that you want are like locked behind seasonal events, so it's you get severe fear of missing out. That's like, like oh, that. Yeah. Play, That's I been like that every since week. fucking three. Gotta play every week. <laughs> Try and get the best cars. See what I what like... I hate about five, and they even did it in four, is they recycle fucking content and act like it's new content. It's like no. Hey, it's new content. No, shut up. It's not. <laughs> it's, I, I think every fan was probably know this. But to be, but so, I think to be honest, right now, I think I, the racing game that I enjoy the most as of these days is Shadow Corsa. 
You can literally yeah. mod the sh you can literally mod the shit out of anything, and See, it's so I, fun. See, I I want to get a set of Corsa, but I don't have a fucking racing wheel. Dude, just dude. get a G29. I told you. I keep dude. telling you, you just get a just, G29. Just use a mouse and a keyboard. What could possibly go wrong with it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but like I've sort of mastered a little bit of it, so it's not so bad. Even though like the braking and the throttling is just yeah, goofy ass. Cause like it's just. A press of a button? I mean, it's not, you know, like, it's not gradual, it's just more of a press, but then I think the more when I get used to it, the more I feel like I'm just enjoying it. Maybe, like, when I get back to my home country, then I'll try to buy a wheel or whatever. I just don't more see less. the point in realistic sim races. It's just driving a car at that point, right? You can do that by yes, just... But it's, yes, but it's driving a car, like... How you wouldn't be able to drive an IRL. Like, yeah, you can go and redline your own car, but you're ruining your own car at that point. I mean, yeah, but like, uh, there's a, uh, there's like a, a, a couple different levels of sim racing. Like, there's some people that get so deep into it to the point to where they think they're gonna try to be like those fucking top esport guys, and then there are people that just do it because, hey, uh, it's fun. It's fun. Shit's fun. <laughs> You know? Exactly. <laughs> but I think, like, maybe one day I'll try, try to have my hands on, like, a steering wheel someday. But I'm a broke-ass teenager living in, like, a shed. No, I'm joking. It's not a shed. It's just a regular apartment room. I was about to say, uh... Elevated shed. Huh? Ah! So hard. That's not me. Even though I just flew off the track like a fucking idiot. Uh, Wait, what are you playing right now? GT4. Oh, <laughs> uh, right, GT4. I'm driving a... Well, it's, a, it's not an Rock NSX, Rock. but it is an NSX. Uh, I mean, sorry, R RSX. My bad. Oh. It's a... R it's, I don't know, it's an, yes. it's an Integra, but it's... Honda badged, so it's not like the Acura RSX. Right, because Acura is basically the American version of Honda, or the subdivision I of it, basically. I still don't understand why they do that. What's the point of having both More Ac money. It's to trick it's people. Stupid. It, it, it's stupid. It's stupid. It's a trick. It was the only way they could get the Integra and the NSX into the US market. It. Yeah, I don't get it either, but... Mm. It's stupid, but know. if it's effective, then it's effective. Think of it like this. It's like a guy putting on those silly glasses with a mustache. It's like, hey, uh... I'm uh, still a Honda, but, you know, I'm not actually a Honda. Yeah. I'm more I'm more an American Honda, you know? <laughs> well. I don't, you know, I've got a gun collection. I've occasionally had slaves, you know? <laughs> just American Honda, you yeah. know? <laughs> That that that's not the American uh, Honda we want. You know, I got my shotguns. You know, if the IRS comes in, you know, because I dodge my taxes. You know, and see <laughs> if any GPS, of them BLM protesters come in, I want to fucking shoot their shit up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm an American Honda. I'm an American Please. Honda. Please. Got my engine in the back, and I only drive straight. You know, straight Please. as God intended. Please. Head, headless, <laughs> headless, please, please First talk like a headless, to, headless, to please talk like that for the, the rest of time. Food icons. Want me to talk like proper American, like how God intended me to call? Yes. I go to church Reach. every Sunday. I can my average sins white Lord. American. I can <laughs> my sins of the listen, so guys, listen. He he's Give doing hail Mary every weekend. Oh my God! Can I you feel his presence? Can you guys tell that he's from? Wherever you're from, Headless. From Northern Ireland. Yeah, can you... <laughs> if he was... Not if, Irish. If he was doing... Well, hold on. Yes. Actually, that's a really good impression, I'll go lie. That's a fucking good impression. Holy shit. Yeah. You sound like everybody... <laughs> you, sound like, you sound like everybody here, Headless. You can definitely pull, You can definitely be American. <laughs> You'll fit in perfectly. Except... Except... Uh, we're, there's like two people that are not American. <laughs> I'm American. Uh, I know Jordan's well, American, and Sam well, is American. Yeah, like that's why I said two people, including him and probably me. 
Well, blade. But I can, I can go. I can go UK. incredibly Northern Irish if you I'm want. I'm British. I can go on. I can go what we call West Belfast. I know. Uh, what about? The fuck out. Okay, wait, wait, hold what on. About, uh... Before we get deep into this, headless is basically just Finn Serpa from. Who the fuck is Finn Serpa? Oh, I yes, yes, yes. That's right. Oh, he's the, yeah, only, yeah. He's the only Irish one from like. That was from, what uh, was. And he, and he barely even fucking I, spoke, or I don't know. He didn't My speak at all. No? I have the best name in the whole of Acceleration. And I tell you <laughs> what, I have the best car as well. Didn't speak a fucking line in World Race, but my god, I was fucking great in the straightaways. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, most of the fucking drivers of the 35 drivers did not have a line. You know, I if was the best one so was. Only, I was only, the best only one. like. Only like a quarter of a fu of the fucking Highway 35 line has like few lines or something. And yeah, that's just really like, the one that has a lot of it. Right there, Kurt Wilde. Kurt Wilde, get bad vibes from him. Get real <laughs> bad vibes from him. Don't know what it is like, but I get real bad vibes <laughs> from him, so I do. My dad was in the IRA, so I was. And I'm just here a racing man. A racing man, so I was. My dad was in the IRA. See the amount of fucking English cars he blew up. My god. Yeah, Kurt, but I put in a good word. My dad come blow up his car, so I did. <laughs> Just waiting for me to come when the when the race, so I am. Roach basically the embodiment of fucking Finn Serpa at the stage. Fucking crushed. Dude, Bert, Finn, Finn Serpa would fucking kill everybody. <laughs> I, I, because I, I, would, I would legit imagine he would come along and his, his, one of his family members would have to be in the ra. <laughs> for for the, for those Americans who don't know, I'm gonna have to educate you. The Ra is a paramilitary group over in Northern Ireland. They still exist to this day, and they they want all the English out of Northern Ireland. They want this country to be Irish. Wait, what the fuck They will blow do? up any English they see. Yeah, 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 what the fuck I, did the English do? Except for that time long ago that we don't talk about. Um, a lot of English things. <laughs> Yeah, I heard something about something like that. So, um, I know that that was the only other one here that I know of that listens to Megadeth, you know, the heavy metal band. And uh, I was watching an interview with uh, their frontman Dave Mustaine, and he was in Ireland doing a show. And this is how the Earth song "Holy Wars" was created. Basically, there was this huge divide amongst the Irish, and you know about that whole thing. You know, you were just talking about. And this is like way back in like the late eighties or nineties. Yeah, that's so. that's when the troubles happened. Yeah, so essentially he was just playing a set and he saw saw the spike start to break out. And you know, he just kinda stops it. And he just says something like, You know what? He got Give hit. Ireland back no. to the Irish. What happened was he's got hit in the face with a quarter. Someone, yeah, threw, yeah. someone threw a quarter at him, and he went backstage, kind of pissed, and he came back out, and he's like, "Hey, free Ireland!" And then everybody split. <laughs> yeah, that's what I. That's well, what I'm trying to well, say. It's it's a very divisive topic. That's the only thing. Mm. Makes sense. Like, See, I'm not very Irish, divisive. So <laughs> Wolves like, like if me. You, if you go into the, the if you go into the wrong if you go into the wrong neighborhood and say shit like that. You're gonna get beat the fuck up. Come the foreign land. What the oh. hell happened there? Ah, uh, you probably disconnect and reconnect it. Oh, Ask the sheep oh. for their beliefs. Do you kill on God's command? Mm. Don't let nope. them know. It's right. Yeah. Speaking of speaking of metal, speaking of metal music, are, are most of y'all like fans of it? Uh, I Just am not really. I'm a uh, big metal fan. Ah, uh, makes sense. Okay, I'm back. I anyway. Uh, do you have a question for us, Darren? Hmm. I would want to ask, but I'm not sh so sure if anyone would enjoy like this ask, type of music. Like, ask have me. you have you ever listened to like uh, One Gun Midnight music? Yes, that yes. shit kicks ass. I have. Well, what the fuck was it? Yeah, it's it's One Gun Midnight. It's basically well. For those of you who don't really know, or maybe most of you do, but I don't know if there's like a certain person here who doesn't. It's basically a. I wouldn't. Probably Blade wouldn't know. Uh, well, I mean, called? Blade, it's a Japanese I cartoon think... about race cars. So driving the highway. 
So you know, oh, basically okay. like initial D, but the more in the highway, there's like the four. Going very fast. Basically, you think of I it as Tokyo Extreme Racer, the anime. Yeah, basically all that. I'm, all I know is that there's a Volkswagen Beetle in there, and the devil's and a fairly <laughs> easy. A uh, well, beetle no, 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 there's not. There's a Porsche. Uh, for yeah, like the Volkswagen uh, Beetle, that's what, that's what I said. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> the Porsche is technically nah. a Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> Nah, just imagine her being the funny is that there's literally the joke is that at literally every Porsche 911, it's just an over glorified beetle. Oh, the one the joke I, is I that it. they recycle every single design. It's like it's so lazy. Like, like Actually, you see, I could Porsche say the is, exact same thing about BMWs. But to be but to be honest, their nine their nine eleven is actually kind of slap like the older ones. Like despite of how lazy like they change like their designs over time, they actually do slap. And even don't with even body get me kits. started with the range. How to explain each version? Like like there's the GT3 RS, the GT3 <laughs> E, the it, it's e, just basically GT2, the, same. the GT3. <laughs> GT3 4 4.4 It's like These are like, all oh really goodness. nice sounding ladders But they're all just ladders at the end of the day Yeah basically that But oh well It's the sure. it's the exact same with BMW It's 420, 320, 220, 120 820, 520 We have the 328, the 328i The 328ci, the 328i It's like like what? Like how many different versions of this can there possibly be? What about endless, what about endless, like, um, I mean, this is something I'd expect to like trim levels, not for like be, an actual model. To be honest, here's the thing. Like it could be endless until the company fucking gets bankrupt. <laughs> I mean they make more a lot less. of money. <laughs> what about Merc Merc? Right. What about Merc? I mean they got some wacky names too. CLK 250, CLK 500, SLK 500, SLK oh, 600. <laughs> this is CL 600. Now this is why this is something like I kind of like about Hoppy's fantasy casting. They just pick a name, slap it in there. Oh shit, this looks cool. All right, it's not even. It's just trademark by Hoppy's, but then like, it's just basically they have their each of their own designs on like well some car companies like Mercedes A Class. I don't know. I forgot the other ones, but oh well. I, I remember the A class though, but. <laughs> I like how the Jap them. the Japanese and the Americans name their cars correctly. They just give them cool names. Honda NSX Dodge Challenger, Dodge Viper, Fair Lady Z. I like I like to drive a car with a Z in it. Man. But, oh, please, but, you want even worse? Try Saab, like the Saab 400, the Saab 900. Oh, there's also... Oh, Saab. Oh, there's also Volvo. Do you not know there's even a Saab with literally a jet fighter steering wheel? I'm kidding you not. There's That's literally... That's a badass. No, but like... Uh, no, but like, what's, what's, the, what's like... How, how does the Saab look like? What the fuck? Saabs? Yeah, but Saabs are... Sabs are cool cars, though. No, I mean, like, like the one, that one car, but then it has, like, a fucking jet steering wheel or something like that. That's what it's I mean. like a sedan and of sort. Huh. <laughs> Interesting, but I'm not that of a fan of Sabs, apparently, which is unfortunate. The old ones well. are pretty sick. There's some old ones that have, like, tri-bleed uh, or three-spoke wheels. What about or the? Please, uh, you should see the old commercials for them with like the jet fighters and such. Just imagine Seriously, like a those ads. Just imagine mm. a Lada, but then it's like a fucking sleeper car that produces a thousand horsepower, then just starts playing hard bass <laughs> in the middle of the fucking <laughs> Russian <laughs> highway. That's the yellow. That's the yellow Evo from Gran Turismo. What? Yeah. <laughs> The yellow Evo from Gran Turismo. That's the uh, that's the ha Russian hard base car. <laughs> I know. Uh, was it a Wang and Midnight music? Uh, it's. I think it's called Happy Moment. It's basically like a mix of like Nightcore, but then it's also like hard base as well. Bleat, hmm. bleat. We go into the highway, guys. We go into the Tokyo highway. Suka bleat. 
drink vodka every day. Hopefully we don't crash into people. Starts driving in a wrong way. Speaking of crashing, did you guys ever play Burnout? Find a parking space. Fight. Burnout. Problem solved. Never did. You never played Burnout. Okay, who has? Apart from apart from Paradise Remaster. I know one of their like songs is actually pretty good. From I like I've heard one of their. Take me down to the Paradise City when the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Take me home. So it turns out that. Like, if you really step back and look at Burnout, you're a fucking psychotic terrorist killing people. <laughs> I mean, yeah, why not? And then if you really look uh, at it, the third it, game, just, yes. Uh... For the first two games, it was really just more about driving like a madman and doing your best not to fucking kill, kill yourself or kill somebody. But yeah, in the first yeah. game, you actually got uh, money from how far you could crash into things. And basically, in three, there's a guy running a radio station telling a bunch of people to uh, basically slam their cars into other cars and cause mess. <laughs> Fuck, I'm, I'm not kidding. Really, the trench <laughs> mode is basically jackass, but with cars. Like, Chab. hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville. Chab. Welcome, and this is Grapes of Wrath. Chab, and Chab. Just rams into the. Oh, sorry. You could you could call this a Nicholas Latifi simulator or a fucking Pastor Maldonado simulator. <laughs> nah, even better, Robot <laughs> Grosjean simulator. <laughs> oh dear God. <laughs> Or better yet, you could fucking yeah, and then basically the Russian bootleg. It's Nikita Mazepin edition. Oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, because like in Burnout Three, there's a guy on a radio station, and yeah, Crash. Oh yeah, he's DJ Striker from Crash FM. What's Crash. up, guys? I'm a generic, Eric White guy just broadcasting from some pirate radio station, telling you to basically go commit car homicide. I, but don't treat it back to me because this is uh, all your fault, not mine. Basically, so I hold no responsibility. The thing is being sent to your onboard computers. Here's right now. I'll keep a brace in here with me, Striker on Crash FM. Yeah, what's basically what's, what's terrifying too is like there's there's parts where like after your car crashes, it, it's supposed like the, the sound effects and everything like. There's one where there's car horns blaring, but when you think about it, it's actually a dead person slumped on the steering wheel. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just make yeah. it, make it. That's fine. Uh, but the fact that you get, like, when you get to, like, a certain amount of, like, cars crash, you can activate that detonator, which is, like, yeah. like congratulations, yeah. you just blew yourself up to bits. Basically, the burnout of the is like, crash car suka. <laughs> What was even more is that if you reached a certain damage total, you could make headline news. It was like literally the headline, like Dark Yard or destruction. If they made a burnout Opal remaster, man, uh, if they made a burnout know, remaster know, for like, like every, thinking, it wasn't. I kind of thinking of the Burnout series as um, Samir, you're crashing the car, Samir. Samir, you're crashing the car. <laughs> oh yeah, you have to be careful with the car, Samir. Stop here to left, to left, to left, or something like that. Probably. Medium left, medium left. <laughs> so what's crazy? What's crazy in Burnout Paradise? You know when you pick your car, your car's like totaled. Everyone's yeah. dead. Everybody in Burnout Paradise is actually dead. Oh, you know what's funny? You're basically, we're talking about, you're, basically years, you're basically committing genocide to an entire. Fucking city at this stage. No, because, like, the, the fact that you're basically crashing into, like, multiple people or something like that, I don't know. No, no, like, everybody is actually dead in Burnout Paradise. That's why it's called Burnout Paradise. Because oh. everyone's supposed <laughs> to be dead. Uh, so, oh, so, they the made to, like, heaven. heaven. Are you made heaven? Are you decided, let's fuck up heaven? Like, is that, is that, is that what? What? What are you asking, Blade? It's like. Uh, you're saying that somebody died and they decided to cause veh vehicular carnage on heaven. Yeah, like everyone's dead in Burnout Paradise if you think about it. That's Th fucking metal. I know. <laughs> Man died. That's this just a theory. It's a game a theory. Game? Jesus Christ, that fucking MatPat thing. God damn it. That's Dude, why I've never. Dude, MatPat used this. to look ugly, but I saw a video of him recently and he's like a Chad now. I'm like, what the fuck? MatPat, MatPat also used to make really good videos. That's no. true. Used to be the key word. Yeah, used to. Yeah, yeah fair he enough. Actually, <laughs> he actually sold his channel. He sold Game Theory. 
Honestly, no. I'm not fucking surprised he did. I remember Speaking when he, yeah, yeah, he, he did. did all those Five Nights at Freddy videos, and he's like, this is the last one. Another video, this is the last one. Another video, this is the last yeah. one. It's like, bro. He's still doing that, by the way. <laughs> exactly. Speaking oh, I, of, you know what's like, worse than that? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go, no, go ahead. No, uh, you I, go. I was going to say, the, I think the worst thing ever is Disney Pixar theories. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I really thought it was... I've never even was... watched any of those videos, but then again, I already don't care much, much for Disney Pixar theory videos anyway, so this, uh, yeah. This it's just like, oh uh, boy, it's already on a topic that I don't really even care much for anyway, so what the fuck is the point then? Speaking of, uh, like... what if this character is actually gay, or this character is actually a psycho? This is, that's basically what my past theory is like. Boil down to. Hey, do you see yeah. Elsta? What if she was dead? Speaking of, uh, what if she was a bitch? Speaking of ruined childhood, it's just funny. Uh, like back then, uh, like when I was uh, a kid, I was just an innocent bastard, thinking that oh, Kadim is just well, his. <laughs> What's funny about it is that, like, you know, when Kadim got transformed into a fucking cy cyborg and all that, it's funny how I thought, like, oh, his organic parts are basically hidden or something. But then the more I realized when I was, like, in yeah, they, they 13 or 14. Yeah, and he basically got gutted like a fish because he has a giant-ass hole cavity in where, where you know, all of his internal organs uh, would be. He's dead. Kadim's yeah, not even basically. alive. He's literally yeah, dead. Dude. He's like basically just to life by, uh... Yeah, he's it's, it's his, well, his his body is just being used. It's just basically the fact that like when I discovered that when I was uh like what thirteen or fourteen I was like, what the fuck? How did I not realize that I was a kid? And you know, the weirdest part of it is I kept on asking my mom and dad, mom, dad, what is brainwashing? What is brainwashing? Oh, I, I was oh god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it's it's basically like it's just innocence. But secretly traumatized from that thing. Oh, you know what's you know what's worse <laughs> than di you know what's just as bad as Disney Pixar movie theories. What? Well, really bad Hot Wheels accelerators theories. Oh <laughs> so my god! No. No. Huh? Who he are just you? Described the, he just described the entire channel to the mess. Yeah. Oh no! No. <laughs> no, like there's some there's some really dumb ones like. Uh, like I, I don't I think Chitty Misk is a cool guy but there's some stuff where I'm like I think he's just trying to milk it because like he did a video trying to explain why Reverb went to the silencers headquarters and he's like trying to make these excuses that he literally said Reverb is a silencers call because it doesn't have a spoiler and it's like what are you talking about there are there are silencers calls do have spoilers though yeah exactly Iridium has a spoiler Carbide has a spoiler Octanium has a spoiler despite, you know, its goofy ass looking bathtub appearance, but still, like. Technidium has a spoiler. Yeah, it, Anthracite but then, has like, a ducktail. No, no, no. Yeah. It's, not, it's not because that reverb ha doesn't have a spoiler, but the fact that, like, I mean, okay, maybe the stats look insane, like, because one reverb doesn't have, like, a sound system. Like, maybe, like, if you notice the tiny bits of details, maybe they do, but it, it's just, like,. I, you I know, think, it's probably I like think Gig, after. Gig fucking probably sent Vert there or something. I mean, yeah, yeah. Or it was, yeah. The, it was like the Acceleron that sent Vert to the fucking set, the silencers headquarters. Who knows? Un know? Or unless, oh, like, or unless this is the theory that that everyone probably believes, like the fact that Doctor Tesla stole their technology. You know, when he twisted the story, that like they steal their technology from me. I mean. <clears throat> Technically, Dr. Tesla stole it, so, uh... <laughs> yeah, Pot, he, might, he might be stealing reverb from the, was it, the scientist headquarters, and, you know, before maybe the entire shit show of ignition, speed of science, breaking point, or even ultimate race has begun, he basically may or may not have that reverb after he, you know, tried to basically, well, steal... No before he tried to steal the wheel power from the destroy Hot Wheels City. Speaking of Hot Wheels City, um, I just hate how the fact that, like, Hot Wheels City these days are just, are just like, oh, we're just gonna have to kill this animal or that animal. No, 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 no. We're not, 
we're not those type of people. We're basically the type of people that uh, think that Hopio City has no longer existed. Now it has turned into a racing drone headquarters. Childhood ruin for the newer people or the newer collectors who collect like, Hot Wheels. My biggest. All of that also, is it me or we're like, like in Acceleracers? Was it? Is it me or is the whole downer ending thing like intentional? Because, as like I don't know, like more often times than not, God, the oh. Acceleracers, both Teku and Metal Maniacs, they can tend to very much like, like I think it's really just now well, more about like you know just survive and get through the realm rather than actually win the race you know what i mean because like oh my god did the difficulty spike really fucking gets it's like criminal <laughs> you know what i mean mm, well I mean, with like how much bullshit you have to contend with more or less yeah i mean come on acceleration is basically drive to survive <laughs> that's that's literally the slogan that's the bro. name of the game Exactly. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Considering that the awful. fact that these guys have like literally no defenses against like like whatever bullshit the drones try to basically throw their way, i.e., those ram the the satellite dishes that basically tells you here take this path because it's basically the best S one. Hence why I think pretty much. That's like the only reason they won the swamp run was because the drones couldn't bullshit their way with the routes. They just had a skin issue, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> See, and here's a, here's a, another funny one. Chinny Misk did a, I think Chinny Misk did a video, or maybe he didn't do it. But people theorize that the reason the racing drones have those cameras is because of Dan Dresden being captured. And I'm like, you guys are fucking retarded. The racing drones figured out how to fly fucking jets. What, they can't figure out a fucking camera? Are you fucking kidding me? I got, like a little I mean, high in the sky yeah. satellite drone. I mean, dude, they're literally smart enough to build that shit. <clears> like, they have the jets, they have sweepers, they have fucking factories that make drone bikes or even cars. But they can't, figure out, a, they can't figure out a fucking camera. And hey, except honestly... For and except for the fact that uh, they commit suicide a lot whenever they try to um, stop the humans, you know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you, if you had to listen, and more if you often times than to, not, it's the, the S one. It's like, you? yeah. I got a crack pop fucking... theory right here, guys. You wanna... I'm kind of stoned right now, so I got a crack pop theory. You, 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 okay, you, go you, on. We mentioned Doctor Tesla, fucking, uh, you know, still tech from the silencers. Yeah. What if? It yeah, it's revealed that Dr. Tesla was actually the one stealing in silencer technology, even though he tried to pass it off as them stealing from him. Yeah, yeah. Well, he yeah. basically yeah. mentioned, I'm the one who basically took control. I'm the one who relayed all the well, info. Here, here, let, let, then let, I took let control let of your bio suit. Oh, okay, sorry. okay, I have a question for y'all. Okay. Uh, and first person to answer this, I'll cancel out my theory entirely. To anyone who can answer this. Oh, do we get uh, to cancel you? Yeah, can't. I'm I'm stoned right now, so don't don't mess with my head, okay? <laughs> all right, all right, <laughs> okay. go 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 for it. Like, oh. How the fuck did the drones get all that technology to they're, they're robots. fucking? They're perfect. Yeah, how did they how did they make it? How did they create it? They're robots. You know, how did they get um it? they're perfect. With the wheel with the wheel, probably. They're robots. They have they have been into Tesla's like lounge once, so I mean so you they could have Sparky. It's Sparky. Sparky is okay. a super drone. Sparky is like just fucking spying it out shit. I mean they think they might have stolen Okay. Alright. You might you think they might have stolen any Tesla stuff? No. You know? No. Okay. Clearly they don't. I got this theory as well. Okay. So, we all know Glorm once upon a time disguised herself as a woman, as a, as a human being. So, you yeah. know. Oh, I know where this is going. I don't like it. Let him continue. Let him continue. No, I did not get fucked let by Glorm. Let the boy cook. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I'm already cooked, man. <laughs> so, like, like, if Lorem, you know, was able to get her hands all that tech from 
Oh my god, what is that? No. How? How? Did, what if she was able to steal some of their stuff? Because, like, Area 51, man. Oh, what if the UFOs were actually racing drones, man? Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. All right, okay, all right, all right, all right. You know what? Uh, this is a theory that I have, but it, it it's fair. And the reason that I think it's fair is because... If you compare Galorum, if you care, if you compare Galorum to the original Tomb Raider's um, main villain, well, Natla. I no who. Okay, in Tomb, I, in Tomb Raider one, there's a, a female villain named Natla. Okay, and she well, tasks Laura, the main character you play as, to get these ancient artifacts for her. Okay, and Natla runs okay. her own corporation called Natla, like. Corp or Nat Tech or some shit, okay? So she... Original. It turns out that Natla is actually a fucking god of Olympus who's literally hiding and disguising herself as a human until she so can figure... Fair that, so she's somewhat in Galorum. Is your theory that Galorum is a god of Olympus? No, my theory is that, that Galorum was just able to start her own company... And that's what the clip driver organization came from. Like she just, I think the clip organization was her company. Which I mean, like everyone's like, oh, the I mean, retcons, the retcons. The retcons don't make any sense. What if the racing drones were separate from the clip drones and they're not the same thing? And I hate the idea that like, oh yeah, it's just a retcon. That's what they were supposed to look like originally. I'm like, that's just fucking dumb. It makes more sense please, to have. There's like the. I was gonna say, uh, it makes more sense to have the drones just sleeping. And then when Galorum fails what, Highway 35 uh, with the clip drones, she's just like, okay, I'm going to go get the drones and we're going to go fucking do what we need to do. Yeah, yeah, so, okay, okay, but more, or less, more or less, yeah. I mean, like, if you see the ultimate, uh, was it the Ruins Realm mini show? Obviously, they've been dormant for like thousands of years on Earth. Yeah. Basically, yeah. yeah. yeah it's not the Valva retcon, but it's more to like, well. Well, no, they literally uh, said they uh, retconned. What they retconned was that the drones in accelerators are what the clip drivers are supposed to look like. And I'm like, that's fucking stupid. Uh -huh. It makes more sense if Clip was just an organization that Galorum worked for or ran, and those government clip drones. You know, those clip drones were just there for Clip, and then after accelerators, she goes back to her drones and she's like, okay, it's time to actually get fucking serious because my disguise doesn't matter anymore. You know? Like, it, it just makes more sense that way. Because that's what happens in Tomb Raider. In Tomb Raider, fucking Laura starts finding out more shit about Natla, and it's discovered, holy fuck, you were a god of Olympus. And it's like, Laura is literally Kurt in that situation, because Laura has to get these artifacts that will reopen uh, a bunch of shit and basically give Natla a bunch of power to take over the world. Using the power of Olymp uh, Atlantis, sorry, not Olympus, Atlantis. Um, um, but yeah, it's cool as fuck, and I'm like, wow, that's a really cool like little uh, little fucking thing I noticed there. Tomb Raider, please. Tomb Raider one kicks ass. It's a great game. I recommend playing the anniversary. I I have Tomb Raider one anniversary, but I don't like the controls. Tomb Raider one. I don't even. I, I love don't the even, story. I don't even have. I don't even have it, but. Oh well. The story's great, but like I just hate the fucking controls. Oh so yeah, it's much. it's a tough game. It's not easy. Tomb Raider's hard. The reboot Tomb Raider games are fucking easy as shit, and it's embarrassing how bad, bad, e badly easy they are. It's fucking lame. Uh, another thing I was gonna add. There's a theory that Alec Wood is RDL one, and I'm like, that makes no fucking sense considering that R oh, RDL. RDL yeah, I don't get that shit either. RDL one existed like, before Alec Wood even existed, so like, what the fuck? And there's multiple LDL ones. Well, there's LDL one, LDL two, LDL three, and LDL four. Wait, all Alec one did was simply take all the memories and other shit from the original and put it into a new body. He after the original one basically got. I'd wrecked in the storm in the swamp realm, as she stated herself. I have put Wait, your what? new memories in a new body. If you fail me again, I will erase them. You sound like uh, you sound you sound like that fucking uh, 
Shodan! Shodan from System Shock! You sound like Shodan from System Shock. Anybody <laughs> else play that shit? I, know, do I, 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 I haven't played System Shock, but yeah, I, I know who you're talking about. She, he sounds just like Shodan. The fucking... Oh, God, she fucking scares the shit out of me, man. <laughs> um, oh, when I basically wait, did... Audio 1 or voice. RDO one is the guy who draws RDO five, right? And RDO eight, so, yes. Yeah, he's the one who's basically the field commander for all the drones, and he's the one who more or less wins all the realms for them. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, here's no, the no, thing too. So, so here I'm gonna debunk no, all this shit, different. right? So like everybody oh. thinks that RDO one is Alec because he doesn't try to take out Vert, and I'm like, do you guys realize yeah, he, that? He just, do you guys realize that RDO one doesn't do anything? It's he literally makes all the other drones do the work for him. His job is to win the, the realm. His job is to win the, the realm. He doesn't fight the other drones. Don't fucking Kadeem, so. No, he didn't even he didn't even really kill Kadeem. He, he well, yeah, he smacked Ardio Six off a of track, but Kadeem, you know, he told like the the fucking little drones, Ardio Twos and Ardio Six and shit. Like they're pawns. They're meant to be obstacles for the humans, while RDO8 is trying to win the- or sorry, RDO1 is, is meant to, to just win the races. That's why he doesn't get involved in combat. Any fucking chance he gets- an aneurysm with all these voices. Any fucking Wait, chance he gets, he uses Excel charges to get away from people. Wait, if he yeah. if, if he's not meant to build for combat, why does why do why does Goron give him the most bulky ass vehicles? Because he's RDO a fucking tank! He's a tank. Yeah, and he's a yeah, commander. It makes sense when you think about it. He's basically the yeah. field commander. The L one literally just he's... says. No, RDL. hold on, hold on. If if he isn't meant to be the one to win the race, it's given fucking RDO two, the fucking speedy ass one, not the fucking G. <laughs> Well, you, he RDO five and that. RDO five and RDO eight are fucking great. What are you talking about? No, I love them as casting. Just. I love them no. as casting, just they shouldn't be for racing, they should be for speaking, combat, because they're more speaking bulky. Of, speaking of castings, I wish RD10 was in the fucking movie, that thing looks so badass. That I mean, come thing, on. That thing is I would ugly. imagine they took Jet Threat 3.0 inspiration for RD10, they took inspiration from Jet Threat 3.0. They did? Okay, I mean, now I have to like that casting, because I, I never really cared I mean, for RD10, but now I have I mean, to like look it. I mean, look at the thing, it's sleek. Like I think, if I'm not mistaken, the cockpit is on the right. Then they have its this fucking big ass jet turbine on the left. It's like I don't know if there's a, if it's considered like a fuel cell charging port or whatever. But even looking at the I car, it's, it's just so long. good. That's why I love like I the design of it. It, it reminds it, me uh, of like Spinebuster. If Spinebuster was a drone. Hold it, Spinebuster's more for. Okay, on the, on, guys, guys, on the count of three, we all have to say, hold it, spine buster's my car. Okay? One, one, two, three. Spine buster's my car. Jesus fucking Christ, that was so messed up. Nobody drives my car but me! Don't worry, Wild! Your car's running great! Your car's running great! I fucking... I fucking... Okay, I fucking hate Marky and Excel races. He is such a, a fucking bitch. That's <laughs> <laughs> again, two years in prison will do that shit to you. Ten years yeah. in the joint make you a fucking pussy. Dude, yeah, my, my favorite thing I, my favorite thing about Acceleracers is when he gets captured and Galorum's like, Your friends will not come to save you. And then Marky's just like, You wanna know the first thing I learned about when I was in prison? And then she just kind of like shakes her head. <laughs> I don't know why, but like, she's just, just that, that little head shake is really funny. It comes off really weird for Galorum. <laughs> exactly. It's like what? The fuck it's was she doing? Like, it's funny. <laughs> and what about well, of course, she goes like on, like we may not be able to change our mind, and oh, then just Kadeem shows up out of nowhere. But we can change everything else. God, that's... He just that's and then he's just, like, twitching yeah, with that wild. eerie dude, grin. Dude, fun fact, that... Was it the racing drone thing? Like, every single part of, like, the racing drones, but maybe, like, the breaking point is where, like, shit gets me traumatized. I always dream about it. Whenever I always go to, like, the... Was it... Whenever I always go to my favorite 
sort of like children's I don't know how do you call it it's like a fun house or something and whenever I look at a window there's like a car park right there I always imagine RD0 to coming by like just parking right there before the drones start like attacking the mall or whatever I'm just like Jesus am I really that affected by this movie so so you <laughs> have you have Dr. Tesla nightmares in real life <laughs> more or less yeah but I've seen <laughs> this <laughs> <laughs> Coincidentally, I got RD02 in like 2019 after like all that shit's over, so like it actually isn't so bad. I don't have RD02. I have RD01356. I have, I have RD02, two versions of six. One's from the 2006 Accelerators line and the other from the Super Chromes. That was the latest release. I don't know why Mattel that they did not even release any more Accelerators. Fuck you, Mattel and RD03. Yeah, I have, you have a yeah, silver. You, what color is your RD03? Yeah, I, uh, silver, not the black one. Oh. Uh, there's, I think there's uh, two versions of the black RD03. One is the gloss, and the other is like matte. If I'm not there's also, satin. there's also a, um, there's also a Duracell one. Yeah, no, I'm not getting that one. I probably get the. <laughs> I'd rather get the Cobalt and six spoke wheels. It just looks so much better. I want the Adidas Hot Wheels accelerator cars. Adidas. Uh, I love those cars. They're so stupid. Hey, Adidas. Run DMC made a song about Adidas, man. Don't diss them. Come on, my Adidas is a banger, man. Adidas is It really all right. is, to be honest. It's it's alright for me. I mean, no, no, I'm more Adidas! <laughs> Come on. Bro, so, bro, okay. I'm more, what, what, I'm more of a Puma from, guy compared to an so Adidas guy. So. What, for, for all the, like, racing teams from World Race and Acceleracers, like, what are all of our favorite cars? Like, uh, I'll go first. Uh, I'll go okay, first. Okay, wait. So to go in order, so you know we yeah, get to. Yeah. So it. okay. Yeah. So Dan, Blade, you go first. I forgot. This. Okay. From way, from way because it's fucking switchback. I love the dealership. From Road Beast, it's Twin Mill. From School Shoes, it's Red Baron. From Dune Rex, it's Wild Thing. From Street Breed, it's I don't really like any of the Street Breed cards, so it's like. Oh God. damn! <laughs> oh. Um. From Teku is baseline, and from Scorchers it's Old Smokey. You mean Metal Maniacs? Metal Maniacs, yeah, Metal Maniacs. Old oh, Smokey. What about the oh drones and silencers? <laughs> oh, drones. Um, I like Audio Two. No, Audio Five. Ah, Audio Five. And from um, Silencer, it, I like Iridium. Uh, yeah. So who's next? Uh, can I go next? Sure. Right, okay, go so ahead. from Wave Rippers, it probably have to be a side draft. Um, Road Beast. Is it, is it uh, <laughs> wait, what? Side draft? I think you mean back draft. Yeah, that draft. That draft. Uh, the, one the one that has like the was it the that's Finn one Serpa's surfboard. car. The surfboard that's headless's car. The, yeah. that's, yeah. the most so the fucking sunny car. Are they? I I like back draft. I've always liked that design as a little kid. I always thought it was one of the coolest car designs ever. Next up it's is a fucking semi circle. You're twin a semi circle. Twin mill. Twin mill from Red Beeps. I had the car once to get the wheels broke off somehow. Oh. I, told my dad, I gave it to my dad. Dad, take this back and get a new one. <laughs> so I, he, came back, he came back and brought me ballistic instead. I was like, you, ah, oh, fuck you. You asshole. I did some stuff with a Pokemon game that I wanted, but he got me Yu Gi Oh instead on Game Boy. But so, I digress. Uh, what, what, I, what's next? My dad. Okay, so like. Okay, so, mm, Twin Mill, yeah, Twin Mill's pretty roadie scary. Doing routes, I'm gonna have to go with fucking Crazy 8s. I just, that's, when I first saw that car, I was like, ooh, that's fucking sick. It's like a fucking rocket ship or something, man. You know, it's got the one orange cockpit in the middle. It's like fucking Buzz Lightyear or something. I don't know. I'm stoned. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, Scorchers, Muscle Tone. Fucking Muscle Tone all the way, man. That's just... I fucking love muscle cars, so when muscle I see that car, the, the fucking yeah. basic ass muscle car. Hey, muscle I tone's, love muscle. Muscle tone's great. It, 
That's a cool it's color scheme, man. Well, one of the favorite ca uh, castings I made. Okay. Well, I had in my childhood, but. Was it's a fucking. It's a fucking hell. You're you're a potato blade. Continue, Jordan. Accelerators. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. I forgot street breed. Oh yeah, I forgot street breed. <clears throat> the most available team. Side draft. Okay. <laughs> no, this one. I wanted to reference that joke we made earlier. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna riddle. It has to be uh, fuck. What was it called? Um, I forget the name of it. I don't know. What? Wait. What oh, team? Okay, it's, it's Power Pistons, I think. I think Power that's, Pistons. That's from that's from Road Beast. No, I, I, it's, just, it's the fucking one with the fucking uh. I I don't know. Let me look at the card. I'm too stunned to think of it okay, right so now. Okay, so there's there's side draft, there's slingshot, there's the eye rock, there's twenty four seven, there's road rocket, and. Aeroflash, the Pontiac Regius as well. Oh, Everyone and forgets Regis. about that card. Road Rocket. Road Rocket. You know, uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Now, now for the Acceleracer. Uh, fucking. Uh, I'm about to fucking go with. Uh, hmm. What was Chiracos car again? Baseline. 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 The best baseline. car. It's so cool you looking. You can't go so wrong with Baseline. If I could possibly take that car. No, I prefer it. I know it's supposed to be like a Japan imported car, but like, it's the only Japan imported, the only European imported car in like the fucking series. So it kind of makes it a little it's special. It's even European. It could be Australian for all we know. God, well, actually, it's Australian because it looks, it looks more like a ute. It's a ute, just put like a fucking... The country the wrong is wood. It's just wrong. I, everything's just wrong in other countries. We drive on the fucking left. We, the wheels on the left side. Every other country is wrong. No, I, I mean care. they were doing it before America, so technically we're stupid. Oh, can't be Americans. How stupid can we be? Uh, I can think of it several ways. Anyway, we're so well, Metal Maniacs. I mean, What's okay? Metal Maniacs. Something has to be. Uh, Hollow back. Hollow back. Okay. Hollow back. Fucking torx car, man. Again. The trapezium. The trapezium. It's like a muscle car. It's fucking bad it has, looking. It looks like something it has a, I would fucking drive. The engine. It has an engine of a trapezium. Okay, so silencers. Anthracite. Okay. I just really like the design of anthracite. Racing drums. That's a Racing Jones, that's a fucking tough one, man. I can't fucking... I, I can't narrow it down. It's either... Or sometimes I'm like an RDO3 guy. You know, sometimes I'm like, ooh, RDO8's real fucking cool. But then when I get really horny, I'm like, RD10, man. Shit <laughs> 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 <It's just> hard. <laughs> I'll go next after this. <laughs> Alright, uh, so I have all mentioned I, I, another fucking wave reverse car. I think of that, of course, I think we all can agree is pretty fucking awesome. It's the Aura 2. Cool. That's like an Facts. honorable mention. Because that was my That's favorite easy, car. Though. That was my favorite wave reverse car at one point in time, but then I just started falling in love with a uh, backdraft. I'm like, mm, baby, come over here. That is what you I love. Why backdraft? Why why backdraft? All right, who's it's next? It's just a semicircle. Maybe I'll I'll go. All right, okay. Let's start off with the Highway 35. Can it be? Can I mention like two favorites? Like if in case like uh, they're like a tie, uh, yeah, I can't uh, even. Sure. All right. All right. So wave rippers. Um, ob this is the obvious choice because I think everyone has this in their childhood. Everyone knows this car. It's even made it real live. It's the Diora 2. What else would it be? Would it be? Street breed. I would say slingshot. I mean, okay, look. Maybe I probably would prefer road rocket or even uh, maybe the twenty four seven or maybe oddly the Pontiac Regius. I, I'm not a big fan of Aeroflash, Silver Bullet, whatever you want to call it. But oh, I think slingshot. What? Yeah, same casting. But so I think slingshot will top it off for me. Do rats. Now this is a little bit of a hard choice because I'm never really invested uh, 
into like any Dune Rats cars, but I think other than that, it's just Crazy 8s. I'm mostly picking the leader cars here, apart from two other teams. Road Beasts? This is an odd choice. Probably Zodic. I kind of like one. its. Yeah, I, I kind of like its. I kind of like its orange and black color scheme, and like the way its Zodic is sort of like self explanatory, like the name itself. That's why I sort of like love its design. Like it looks exotic. No pun intended, but I'll. <laughs> I probably did that. Now, uh. Scorchers. Mm, pretty much. No, Scorchers. <laughs> Uh, this one is where I don't really feel invested into the Scorchers, but um, if I were to have, if I were to go for one option, so probably either the 63 Corvette, because actually, not gonna lie, when I look at the, its graphics, it just looks so fucking sick. Like, the way, uh, like, it basically has, like, that volcanic orange and yellow sort of mixed together, and sort of has, like, that fiery presence to it. That's pretty nice. But on the other hand, I do have a soft spot for Muscle Tone. Clearly, because I ha have the diecast back then. Well, not the actual diecast, but, you know, like, I had like, a black nice. Muscle Tone, but it's a really good casting. One of my favorites, no doubt. Thanks, it's Eric. Completely. I can't even pronounce his name, but I know his, I know his name is Eric for some weird reason. But, oh well. Moving on to Accelerators. Teku. Oh boy, oh boy. The most expensive group of cars that is out of all the XL races roster. Now, I can't really decide which two cars I'd pick, because these are basically both a tie. Reverb or High Voltage? I've... Maybe, yeah, I'm sure, High pick. Voltage. High Voltage maybe is a little bit of a weird option, but I don't like the movie model, but I prefer the toy car, or even the car... Uh, what is it? The car dart itself, because, I mean, come on. The black color is pretty much a better option than the dark blue we had in the movie, so that's why it kind of grew on me a little bit. Reverb? It's, it's just basically a blocky Lamborghini. Well, sort of like a blocky Lamborghini Reventon, but Ooh. it just looks fucking amazing. So, either a tie between those two. Now, Metal Maniacs is another hard option because I'm not really invested into those cars, but if I were being a little bit honest, Riveted? Probably. Rivet is a really cool one. And okay. the other... Uh, hold on. The other I've ever like thought about it. Maybe it's either between Hollowback or Power Driver. I can't really think about these three because I'm not invested in Metal Maniacs at all. Now, Silencers. A little bit of a... I, I prefer Carbide, but then I also have a soft spot for Excelium as well. <laughs> I know the car may look a little goofy, like Excelium, because it's like a buggy, and I'm not sure if everyone really sort of likes it. But I think it's kind of a good model, I'd say, despite its obvious flaws. Now, Racing Jones is where I can't even decide between, like, three cars. <laughs> RD-02, RD-06, no, actually four. RD-02, 6, 9, or 10. 9, particularly Mama Galorum's car, and... The design itself. <laughs> and RD10. <laughs> RD10, on the other hand, it just looks like a fucking jet fighter in wheels. RD02 and 6. That's they look cool. I'm, I'm not. I don't really have like any other cons for like the other ones. I mean, RD01 is okay, but it's like mid. Then mid RD03, actually, it, it's, it's not bad. 5 and 8, I'm not that a big fan, so yeah. Just looking at it, it's just, nah, not my, you know, not my thing. But yeah, that's about it. Anyone would want to go next? Uh, Headless. Um, I'm, I'm not entirely invested into the Hot Wheels cars, I just kind of like the movies. It's, it's like, it's like asking... You fucking you know, bastard! It's like <laughs> asking me to pick between my favorite American cars. Um, I'm gonna say brands, but I don't actually know any of them. <laughs> I don't. I straight up don't. Oh, You're saying all these names, and I'm just like, oh, oh, that person drove it. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's okay. Hannah. I like yeah, the characters. Like... I don't like the, don't the cars are kind of okay. <laughs> kind of okay, man. Yeah, that's like that's like not like it's Star Wars, but not caring about the fucking lightsaber fights. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the story. 
<laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, because everybody who watched Star Wars can totally name, like, what form of kyber crystal somebody star, like, star, fucking star saber? Lightsaber was. I can name mm -hmm. all the fighting styles that the Jedi mm -hmm. use in those movies. Okay. That's, that's, uh, that's all yeah. all right, uh, Sam, Sam, uh, you go. All right. My Christian supremacy. Okay, so here's my choices, and I'm really not going to care if some of y'all... I'll either disagree or pretty much want to tear my head off. For we're not. We're not going to fight. We're not going to. We're not going to fight. We're not, 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 not going to fight. Okay, here I go. Here I go. Here I go. I think the next okay. one later on will do that. I'll ask later on. Go ahead. All right. So I'm going to start with Highway 35 and then sort of work my way up up to Accelerator. So in terms of like Wave Rippers, which was like my all-time favorite hit team as a kid, because I mean, come on, I liked blue, and yeah, but, uh, my favorite, favorite car, now, in spite, now, for those of you who have followed me on Instagram, yes, you know, I do I basically have that whole thing as, as, like, Felix Sharky, and of course, there's power pipes, but I'm gonna go a little bit different and say my favorite one out of all seven would actually have to be the Thunderbolt. Okay. Because that was actually the, the first car I started my Wave Rippers collection with. Nice. How did Very you nice. get? How did you get the Thunderbolt? Oh yeah. yeah. So funny story about that. So one day I'm like, like scrolling through Facebook and I'm just like, like whatever. And then I come across like the marketplace and I type in, okay, let's see what uh, nets this. And fondly enough. There was this like one seller who had like the Chrysler Thunderbolt like on sale and this was basically how I discovered like my other website where I went to buy I like Hot Wheels called Real Rider 75 and uh yeah one thing led to another and lo and behold I'm and actually one of the few re lucky recipients who managed to find the Thunderbolt for nearly half of what eBay would normally charge for it. So how much did you get it for? Mm, would you believe 60 bucks, I think? I remember, if that's I remember not, correctly, it was like, it only cost me like 60 bucks. That's not too bad. It's probably like $100 I mean, now. I mean, please, it's, like, pretty much, like, like nearly, like, almost impossible. It's almost, like, 300 foreign. It's, like, nearly the same price as, like, Reverb carded. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's a so yeah. fucking... So, yeah, that's yeah. that in terms of, like, Wave Rippers. Now, in terms of Street Breed... Uh... Uh, I would probably have to go maybe with, like... Road Rocket, because I just like that whole, like, open canopy Le Mans racer aesthetic. Yeah, dude, it's based. Very based. <laughs> yes. yes. Now, Road Beast is kind of where I get a little bit, like, like, uh, because basically, like, we've already gone through, like, like, some of the, like, favorites, but... I want to be sort of a uh, different, and I'm gonna say it's a uh, Power Rocket. That's pretty much my favorite Road Beast car. That's a cool one. That's probably my second favorite one. Even though this car is pretty much ass to drive, like in the video game, because my God, this thing has zero fucking traction whatsoever. Or it may be fucking fast, but this thing will just fucking like well, you're gonna have a field day with this. Like, well, if you try to like basically race power, power <laughs> rocket on a very technical track, you're going to have a very bad time. Well, you mm -hmm. sacrifice mm -hmm. corner ability for a uh, fucking speed at that stage, so GG's. Speed, motherfucker, do you speak it? Uh, okay, now, uh, Road <laughs> Beast. Uh, hmm. Road Beast, I would probably have to give props to the El Camino because, seriously. He, you you can't get rat. more fantasy casting with literally an engine you with mean a the Dune rats? midship engine that's yeah. fucking, like, even bigger oh, than the freaking oh, oh, taller oh, than the oh. car itself. 
Oh, Commando's like my, also my, my second favorite where you start. You just don't fucking Dune know. Rats. It's, it's Dune, Dune Rats. Rats. Yeah, it's Dune Rats. Wow. I'm stuck. E <laughs> and in terms of Scorchers, I would probably have to give that to maybe like the 57 Thunderbird. Because I just love Fords and quite frankly, I really like the Thunderbird. Too. Three for one. That's also my second favorite one in that team. Thunderbird ain't yeah. really not my favorite, to be honest. It's I, but not bad. It's just meh. No offense to you all, but it's not my thing. I mean, if that's fair. One. Aaron, that's fine. Now, for Acceleracers, if I had to go with Teku, who, uh... My choices would probably be, like, I'm sort of tied between, like, Synchro and Power Rage. Power Rage because Power that was the Rage. first Acceleracers Power car Rage. I owned. I'll say a basic, shut, man. Shut up, and, shut up and let the man speak. <laughs> no. <laughs> what can I say? No, that? no, no. no. Special no. Meaning to me, right? That was the first one I ever owned, so... Oh. So it kind of just, yeah, it's a little bit, yeah, I'm a little bit biased, but you know what, I don't care. In defense of Sam, even Reverb is also a fucking basic choice. That shit is overrated as fuck. I Guys, ignore Blade, Blade is a potato. Trapezium. Okay, so that was basically that for Tateku. Now for Metal Maniacs, I'm probably tied maybe between like Riveted, because man, do I love Taro, oh, and that freaking in sequence with anything but down, fucking legendary. That slaps. That slaps. Yes. Now there's that, and my other choice is probably Flathead Fury. Good choice. That's a cool yes. one. Yes. That's awesome. Silencers, now this is where I kind of get a little bit like, oof, I'm a little pressed as for choices, but, but quite frankly, out of all of them, I would probably have to give it to Technetium because I just freaking love that whole like JDM and sort of rally car or like it's something like I really think it would fit like a Jim Connor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it actually would. Like fucking high tech Jim Kana, uh, with just like like Benji just fucking doing donuts, uh, it's through like an auto park garage. Uh, what a bit uh, amazing! While the freaking while one of them is like on a fucking Segway that's just slowly moving, and Benji's just doing his best to like circle the thing as it's moving. Dude, you want know, you guys want to hear something crazy? Frankie Nunez. The star from Malcolm in the Middle is now a NASCAR driver. Oh, I, oh yeah. I, I know, Frankie that. Muniz. <laughs> I just saw that on my Instagram feed just now. I'm like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, no. My I other car I would think I would enjoy from the silencers is also, like, Metaloid, because, like, like, I don't know. I've just sort of, like, like I've sort of grown a little bit attached to Metaloid in recent Metal days. I'll go lie, Metal 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 it used to be my favorite car, though, but it's okay for what it's worth. It actually is a little bit better than Octane. Which one is Metaloid? The one that looks like a fucking teardrop. Well, like, the front is, like, bulging. Then it, it, the has a, it has, like, like a letter thing. It has a letter M on, like, the front of the car and a big line. Oh, it, my God, how did I not notice that? Holy fucking shit. Oh, it, fuck. it, it reminds one me, more. it looks like the, some people have said it, the car looks like a fish. Uh, also, um, it kind of, it kind of looks like it can be driven backwards. Oh, yeah, yeah, Except there's the engine in the back, so that's the thing. Yeah. All right, what about racing? Now, in terms of, like, racing drones, was, okay, so I've got, like, three maybe favorites from the racing drones. The first being RDO4, which I know is an unpopular opinion, but... Yes, I put it on this list because, I don't know, I guess I just like that whole, like, sort of droned off-road jeep, jeep kind of aesthetic. I it was, was in yeah. Hot Wheels, but it was in yeah, World's I... Best Driver. I mean, yeah, but, yeah, But to be honest, I kind of like the concept of the, was it the jet, how do I say it, the jet jeep 
type. And there's like the extra time. Oh, so, the yeah, there's RDO 4, and then of course there's RDO 1, because I just like that whole futuristic sort of F1 concept. Oh. It's got going. And, uh, like my third one. Uh, I would have to probably give that maybe to like, uh, RDO 8, because, as, again, fucking in tank truck. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that shit was just, like, dominant. And, like, seriously, if you ever wanted to make a ter another Terminator movie, or, like, like another fucking, uh... What is it, uh... Movie? Max Payne? That's gotta be, like, one of the, either the hero or the antagonist's card. Like, it's just... It fits. Uh, like, seriously, who could not picture Arnold Schwarzenegger... Her fucking driving RDO8, like, like check out the new wheels. I get to the RDO8. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, now, even though we've already stated our favorites, I let's gone, state right? our. Oh fuck. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay. My so, um, uh, my favorite whip wave ripper is the uh what blade calls the semicircle uh backdraft uh Fuck yeah. my favorite Bye. my favorite street breed is obviously slingshot uh, second favorite from street breed is arrow flash uh dune rats no is it road beast yeah road beast next uh vulture uh vulture, vulture? why vulture i love vulture, vulture. Um, I never understood. Very nice. Vulture's I never really, fucking great. I never, really, I never understood the love for that car. I, 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 I don't me. know. I think it's super sexy. Um, uh, for Dune it's Rats, it's just like a very low slung kind of exotic, pig, but with like it has like like huge wheels in the back, and then it has like that big sloping exhaust system. It's kind of like a very low slung kind of jet looking car. They just took the letter S and just put it on the side, and that's the car. Um, for Dune Rats, the Toyota RSC. Uh, uh, oh, it's Scorchers. Uh, it's a tie between Kodama Coupe and the Corvette. Um, but for fantasy, definitely Kodama Coupe. Um... That's all the Wade Warriors cars. Yeah. Okay, so then Acceleracers, Teku, uh, Drift Tech, uh, for the Metal Maniacs, which is Jackhammer. Didn't know you actually like Drift Tech, though. It's like <laughs> the freaking oh, no, gold, <laughs> old family S family wagon. Uh, it's Except it's beefy. No, yeah, I like Jackhammer. It Except there's like two edges in the back, like two edges, one in the front, one in the back, which makes it like fucking badass shit. Uh, yeah, I like. Drift I, think. Tech. I really like Drift Tech. I like Jackhammer. I like for the silencers. I'd have to say either. I so like my top three favorites. Really, I like I like all the silencers. I don't really care for Metalloid or Excellium, or the um. Octanium. Is it is that, is, is that the funky car? The fucking bathtub. The one, the one, one that, that looks, looks like, like a fucking, fucking bathtub. bathtub. Then there's like the engine like on the top with like those what was it sort of duck wings in the back? Yeah, oh, no. I don't really like that one. Um, Same. <laughs> like I, I think it's if, pretty much nobody's favorite. I would really like to drive either Cove Light or Anthracite if I was a silencer. Um, and then for the drones, I like a I pretty much like all the drones. Um, I mean, I like more than others. I don't really like, I don't really care for 9, 10, and 3, <sighs> but I think for my, for my, for my, for my number one drone spot, it's a tie between like RDO 4 and RDO 1, and RDO 8, and RDO 5, <laughs> like, it's uh. so hard, it's so hard to choose, like, I really like the drones, so like. Basically, the top three is like <sighs> fucking Sam's opinion. <laughs> Honestly, I I think if I really had to choose, I think I'd go with RDO four. 
Uh, uh, I really like off-road vehicles. So. And I like the sleeker ones. Basically, that's why I put RD-02, 6, 9, and 10 there. But I think if I, I love, were to choose... I, I love five, RDO 1 and RDO 2 I don't really care for RDO 6 that much. It's okay. Uh, but for me, if I were to like drive a drone car, definitely RD-10 or 9. Because... Nine, you could literally feel like as if you own like a fucking luxury car everywhere. But that RD10, oh boy, this that's gonna give you like massive fucking whiplash once you <laughs> gas on the pedal from the back. <laughs> um. So now I guess we can move on to if we had our own cars to choose for world race. For like your favorite team, what car? It could be any car. It could be any fantasy casting. It could be any real life car. For any of of your favorite team, what would you drive? Like if Doctor Tesla picked you to be on a team, and a car, what would it be? And what team? May I go first? Oh, 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 yeah, sure. Oh. All right. Okay. This is a little bit of a hard one, but okay. So world race, right? World race only first. Yeah, world race first. Okay, I used to be sort of like a Road Beast fan, but I think recently I've moved on to like Street Breed. Because um, I think, I feel like I would have fitted more into like the urban sort of like vibes it gives compared to like, you know, the Road Beast swell, jungle-ish type of vibes. Okay, now this one. Even though, like, you could pick any car, like, even it's not even made by Hot Wheels, but, you know. Yeah. It, does, oh, okay. it doesn't even have to really make sense, like... Yeah, right. right. Makes sense. No, <laughs> more or less. Hmm. I might choose an LMP car for a street breed. Hmm. What's an LMP car? Lamar Prototype. Oh. Those things. But I, so I probably would go to the... I probably would pick, like, more the recent... Uh, was it Lamar Daytona Hybrid or LMDH cars? Street breed? Cadillac um, V LMDH. Hmm. You probably might have to search that one up. That, that shit looks fucking badass. Even the V8, like the startup, fucking banging. Right, it may be wrong legal, but you know what? Can I go next? Yeah. Okay, so I'm a big uh, Camaro guy. Even though I don't drive, I know quite a fair, well, decent bit about cars. But, um, which means very absolutely nothing. <laughs> the parts, well, like, okay, so, 74 Camaro. Either 72 or 74 Camaro. And I want, it, you know, I I prefer, like, painted purple, but we're, since we're talking like Hot Wheels World Race, my go-to team, this is always, I think, it's either this or Wave Rippers as a kid, but it was always Scorchers. I thought they had the most bitchin' fucking song. Like, the most bitchin' theme song out of all the theme songs that Ball Wax did. I don't know. Scorchers is just, just a fucking awesome song, man. And, yeah, Scorchers. 74 Camaro, Scorchers. Alright. Yeah. Okay, can, can I do two? Headless. Well, what? what? It's your turn. For what? Yeah, I haven't been listening, you turkey. <laughs> I've been listening. I just uh -huh. forget what it is. Okay, okay. <laughs> you it, it, you, your favorite team and your favorite. Team. Yeah, like okay. So like, if you were uh, if you were chosen by Doctor Tesla to race for mm -hmm. one of the teams, what team would it be for World Race, and what car would you have? <laughs> Honestly, something from Street Breed. Wave Rippers is too, too laid back and too inexperienced. Ropies is too like jungly, more or less. Jungle. Yeah. It's too tribal. <laughs> um, it's too great. Well, you don't. Do, you do don't like the grab juice imported. Sand in my feet. And street breaks <laughs> sort of scream street racing. Yeah, more or less. Although, so. if I'm if I'm honest, if I had the choice, I'd pick street breed. And then what's? It could be any uh, car. Fuck. Fuck, yes. what's, what's your what's your man's car from Acceleracers? The one who can't hear very well. Baseline. Baseline. Oh well. Baseline has a street breed car. Let's go. Oh my god. 
I want to go with Mr. That would be hard. That would be sick as fuck, yeah. That would go so Bad them over the yard, bro. Just, a, just, just, just imagine a Cadillac DP, uh, like a VLMDH, but then like you paint it with like fucking street breed colors. That looks so fucking good with it. All right, Blade, your turn. Honestly, if I would, I would probably go with the Scorchers because I love me some rat rods and some muscle cars, and the car I would pick. And the car I would pick would be Bone Shaker. Of course it's Bone Shaker. <laughs> it, literally, it literally says in the bio, Bone Shaking Super Treasure Hunt Milk. <laughs> Milling video crap. Jeez. <laughs> well, uh, that's not explanatory anyway, so. Oh, so, uh, yeah, Sam. Oh, Bone Shaker is just the I, perfect casting. Uh, did Sam go already? Or no? No, he hasn't. Okay, Sam. No, I haven't yet. I just wanted to wait. Hate to see if anybody else would get theirs first before I went. Here you go. Uh, <laughs> Alrighty then. And so, I'm gonna go a little bit out of the box. Box here, but if I had to choose, like, if I was gonna be recruited for the Wave Rippers, then. And, uh, I would probably most likely use a Turbo Lens, because it just has, like, that sort of 1950s kind of, uh, like, indie car sort of sort of aesthetic and I really think it would sort of fit with like the wave rippers because most of them have like kind of this like 1950s 1960s type type of like surfer aesthetic hmm. so okay that's like so yeah Tur that's Tur like my Turbo first is a one cool, cool casting it is it really, really is. And fantasy For a street breed, I would probably go on a limb and say MST Suzuka because that I don't know if anybody has noticed, well, but like on the back of like certain comic, I think you could see like the um, the ads for like like the HotWheels.com, and you'll literally see the uh, I don't know if hold on, let me again. No, that's not. On it, but I just know that in like some of them, they have like the uh, yeah, like if you go to hotwheels.com, you can actually see a photo of like, like, uh, like, yeah, you see the uh, like the normal tampos that would normally go on the IROC Firebird, they're instead like on MST Suzuka. What the fuck? Oh, that actually, we, need, really we need Narciss to get on this shit, Blade. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I can mean, hit maybe, I don't know. Well, MST Suzuka's not in Unleashed, but that would have been cool. Uh, Power Ranger yeah. Synchro, we can make it work. <laughs> now, as for uh, Road Beast, East, um, Road Beast. Uh, hard choice for that one, because it's mostly either you go off road or you just go, I don't know. Ballistic, <laughs> just like the movie quote. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus uh, Christ. <laughs> hmm. I used to say that when at school. I would just say that. See, I would just quote World Race and Accelerators when I was like in elementary and middle school. I just quote that movie all the time for some reason. <laughs> Man, that would have been so fun for me to do okay, that. Okay, so I think for like the um, for the road bees, I would probably like most likely uh, I would probably use like maybe the Mach One Mustang, and only because well, I just couldn't really think of anything else. There's nothing in my collection that would sort of like like scream out like you know. That sort of a thing. Like, my only other choice would probably maybe be, like, the, uh... Funny... Well, no, not funny car. That's more of, like, a Scorcher's car, to be honest. Oh, and, uh... Like, Street Breed, like, my other choice, it would probably be, like... Aside from the aforementioned MST Suzuka, I would probably also put maybe, like, Solar CX-4 in oh, there because... Her. Oh, Come on, it's a sports uh, car. Yeah. Nah, that's that's a good one. That's a good one. You're 24 hours to follow 24 hours. 
I think I think Solar CX4 is kind of based off from like a Group C car, more or less. I yeah, it's like basically like no. like based on an old like jet. It was sort of like an old like early like mid eighties, these world sports car prototype. Like a mini loader. Yeah. Kinda. All right. Mm-hmm. Anything yeah. else? Uh, That's now for Dune picture. Rats. Hmm. Dune Rats. Uh, I would probably oh, put like Maelstrom in that group only because, as like it just sort of has like that, that sort of a. Uh, Maelstrom like, also. Maelstrom. Yeah. Yeah, I like Maelstrom. Okay, Good next, account. my turn. All right. Uh, so. Oh wait, no, I wasn't finished yet. I still have oh. one more team to do. We were only supposed to and do for one scorchers. Team. Got to do like yeah, one for scorchers. Team, I would probably do split an image to. Okay. Okay. So and the reason Kurt, behind that, that being, if you saw like the, uh, if you see like the, um, the Fireball Five Pack, which is more or less as the split an image two that's featured in the Velocity X game, game, it's. Pretty much like that aesthetic, but with more like color co- scorchers, color coordinated, you know? Okay. That sort All of right. thing. Alright. So, and okay, I'm done. Okay, so for me, if I was picked for World Race, and based on like where I lived and my skill as a driver, I'd probably be an off road racer, and I would probably be recruited to Dune Rats. And the vehicle I would drive would be excessive. What's what's so excessive about it? <laughs> have you not have you not seen excessive before, played? I haven't even. Played. What's so excessive about it? I've never oh. seen it before. It's got six wheels, a giant fucking engine in it, and it has a swivel axle. Hold on, hold on, excessive, right? It's basically like the fantasy casting version of that Mercedes six wheeler. Nope. It's actually more closer to a Dodge T-Rex. Wait, 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 wait. hold on. How do you spell it? X E dash I S I S V E, I think. X. Wait, hold on. I'm Just look up six wheel, six wheeled Hot Wheels truck or okay. something. Six wheel. Six wheeler. Uh, Wait, I have to find like, I have to find like the category that has like six wheel. Uh, I got like, Gremlin. Yeah, six wheeled vehicles. Invader, fast gas, and big rig. Okay, wait, it's it's it starts with an X, right? Yeah. Oh, X S I. Oh. Yeah, I could see that as a dude rats. I could see that as a dude rats or road beasts. I don't want to know those. It's, it's, def- so, it's definitely uh, more definitely more along the lines of dune rats in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, dude rats are more specialized with off-road, so. Wait, so what do you, how do you spell it? X, S, dash, I, V, E. X, S, dash, E, V? I, E. No, I, V, I, V, E, yeah, I, V, E. That's a dumb way to spell a car. It's, <laughs> it's literally just called excessive. What? It's, that's the, that's <gasps> what it's called. Oh, 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 I have that kind of thing, oh, I really like that. Ooh, that's I actually it. have that casting. I didn't know it actually spelled like success, and that is so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what I would want if I was in World Race. That would be a pr- that's probably the most fucking rational choice out of everyone here. It's just uh, it's funny how I thought that like I used to fit on with like street breed, but then the more I realized, oh yeah. No, not Street Breed. I mean, like, I used to fit with, like, Road Beast, but then, like, the more I think about it, I feel like I would have fit into, like, Street Breed a little bit better, because, like, I love sleek cars, tuners, what else? Sports prototypes. You prefer, you prefer your car. Really, the uh, Wave Rippers, of course, as I mentioned, and I used to be, like, a Wave Rippers kid. It's because, well, I just, I love the B. Well, I didn't love the beach, but I just love water. 
darker, and blue, of course, was my favorite color. But as I kind of got older, I think I think I shifted maybe more toward the Scorchers because, as quite frankly, I just sort of like the muscle car, sort of rat rod, odd aesthetic. Fucking bad. And also, um, uh, I don't know. I guess I just like the idea of like like cars that can just. It's like, like summon like a giant snowplow, how freaking armored wheels and can just, it's to like go through molten magma. Uh, yes. The fucking. Why? Uh, why would the scorchers give like the best ability? Yeah, the, like, the, scor- the scorchers. Like, the scorchers have the best ability scorchers. next to wolf wave rippers. Like the wave rippers would be cool in like everyday life, but like for specifically what you do in World Race, you would want a scorcher type ability. Well, actually, I think the street breed have some cool abilities because like they have camouflage. It's fucking cameras. It's fucking cameras. No, man. that's that's it's that's only line. side draft. That's only side draft. It's, that's all. Okay, yeah, what the I fuck do the rest of them do? Okay, guys. Arrow Flash has an EMP ability. Uh, the Rages, I think, no, no, gives you... The Firebird also has, like, that sort of ability as well. Like, one of them has camouflage. One you can see through the... in the dark. Um. I mean, come on, Street Breed's literally made for, like, streets anyway, so... They're, they're like spy cars. Street Breed have, like, spy car abilities. Street Breed yeah. cars are designed with... Basically, like, like Rages and 24-7 have, like, the camouflage... Uh, Arrow Flash and Firebird have like the disruptors, so they can like hack into like you know, a, like they can basically disable grids and whatnot. Mm. But the fucking uh, born. No, they're the not. Fucking... Arrow Flash is awesome. Yes, they are. Arrow, Arrow Flash. Flash is a. I love Arrow Flash. Arrow Flash is a seven twenty s. All right, all right. Now since we've talked about like our favorites and what we want to drive in World Race. Let's get to the uh, cons. Let's say uh, of of your... World Race and Acceleracers. No, well, okay, maybe Acceleracers first. Like your least favorite casting, and this is gonna have a lot of hot takes. Okay. So uh, if anyone wants to go first, then uh, go ahead. I'll go first on this one. Yeah, right. <laughs> I love sure. Blade's opinions. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> let's 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 hear your okay. controversial take. Okay. So in the Metal Maniacs, there's this car called Riveted. I'm not really a fan of Riveted. <laughs> I'm not. I'm so, I, I'm, 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 I don't really like the car. It just, from the spoiler and the blood, I just do not like it. It just looks too. It's just what the engine. Why does the engine look like? Pitchforks are gonna, like... Pitch are gonna go so... after you at this thing. <laughs> I mean, considering the fact that I think Riveted is kind of based, again, like, on a Mach 1 sort of Mustang, and just the mere fact that, you know, like, it just, it's just a little too daft. Like, for what it tries to set out to be, it just kind of does it in, like, a very sort of, like, daft kind of way. No, I just feel like it could have worked if it just had a different type of blower. Like, if they just gave it more, like, more like, in, like, if they did the, like, the engine that's basically sticking out, out, if they just did that a little bit better, then I think the casting would have maybe worked a little bit better for you. Basically, yeah, just give it Roger. Why didn't you just add Roger Dodger to the fucking series? And no fucking clue. All right. Any other, like, from any other teams? Okay, um, I don't like... At the yeah, I don't really like RD RD ten. Oh, but like man, it just looks like fucking Pat the Patrick Star character car. <laughs> nah, nah, but it's miles better. Oh, At least it's miles Christ. better. It's miles it doesn't better. Matter if it's, I do, it doesn't matter if it's miles better. It still it it still dares to look like it. God damn it, not. Nah, but like, I mean, come on, that's like it it exists before the fucking you know. So it's the reason why the Patrick car, Patrick car exists. So, in that case, it's even worse for that. All right. Any, okay, that's else? all. Oh, Most God. of the fucking tech who are kind of shit. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, bro. I'm not, I'm not really a fan of fucking JDM cars anyway. So, 
I like dude. I like synchro. Yeah. I like baseline. The, the rest can fuck up though. Maybe chicane. I can keep chicane. Chicane gets there. Oh shit. Oh shit. And reverb. <laughs> oh no. Wait, wait, wait. Reverb. You you're telling me you're letting reverb stay in, like your fucking roster or something? Or <laughs> yeah, yeah reverb. Reverb can oh, stay. Okay. Okay. The Battle Force Five version is better though. What? Okay, I got a uh, The Battle Force Five version. Oh god damn it. It's the best version. No, fuck off, I say it. Oh, yes. oh, fuck off, It no. has more style, I do not care. Battle no. Force 5 reverb is the definitive <laughs> reverb. No wonder. I, I think the Battle Force 5 reverb is actually pretty fucking cool. I mean, it is, I, but like, I like the color scheme. Cool. It is, but to be honest, the uh, 2005 one will always be in my heart. Because that's uh, personal bias I always have. Alright. On the uh, silencers? Yeah, Jordan, what's your hot take? What's your hot I, take? Okay, I love Gig as a character. I think he's probably my favorite character in the Excel Racers. But something I fucking hate is how they change his voice three fucking times. Times. No, they don't. Wait, yeah. wait. They, do they? Hold on, they hold on. Three times. No, they don't. First it was like, I need to build a new kind of driver. That's his wait. first voice. Then his second voice in the second episode. Roll race. You're coming. Like you start Vader or something. Bro, but like <laughs> I met like the cars of the <laughs> your okay. least okay, favorite cars. Like, I think like, I think uh, gig I, sounds fine. And no, his voice I, I, is the same throughout World Race. What are you talking about? No, go back and rewatch. He has like two lines. How could you notice? More, I mean, more like I think what he means is like the transit, like from his voice to World Race, than like to acceleration. I think his voice like, is okay. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't mind it. I think I, he, I think he sounds like he's talking through a straw in World Race, but in like accelerators, he sounds like super depressed. <laughs> Why? Is I, 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 I don't blame the guy. Honestly, working with Doctor Tesla must be driving him insane. It's like, uh, you know, it's like having a really depressing boss at work. You go in, you do your thing, you see your boss just kind of open around all the time. It's just like, oh, I think that's what you. I think that's what you call cutting it close. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's called. Get close. Okay. okay, I got a car opinion. I got a car opinion. I don't fucking like Red Baron. How dare you, sir? How does anyone see on that fucking thing? That abomination of nature. Oh my god. Red Baron <laughs> is a master cause. Of plastic design. I will not stop it. It's black and I can equate it to an inbred baby. That's what it looks like an inbred car. Oh my god. Like, still Bro, just like that. The same family. Not together. Fucked. And I can understand that fucking thing. It's an ugly you can't see shit through it, and it looks like it fucking, if you fucking press the brake button just a little bit, it would spin around and come right over and it would fucking I kinda understand. The way you're just rapping about Red Bear while the bike just makes you fucking suddenly disappear. Right <laughs> go, stops. Red Baron Red Baron's a character Wait. car. Red Baron is a character car. Oh my god. No, it's fucking not. No, don't bring fucking Marvin the Martian in this fucking bullshit. Don't you fucking dare so No, Red Baron's just <laughs> Red, ba Red Baron is literally a character car. Change my mind. No, it's not. Mar Marvin the Martian does not exist. I'm not even talking about Marvin the Martian, I'm just saying like if you think about it, Red Baron was a person, and it's called Red Baron, so that would mean that Red Baron is a character car. <laughs> you know, you know, no. the moment when, you know, when the moment when Jordan like actually ranted about the Red Baron, his profile picture actually says a lot about it. <laughs> I just noticed. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, he's, he's got he's a gun. No, he's no, but like the face, the face of the fucking emoji itself. <laughs> Yeah. Did you guys see my profile picture for Discord? It's funny. I, it's just, it's I don't, just a banana. It's not. <laughs> it's not a banana. <laughs> it's a. It, it, I, it's a real life photo I took of something at somebody's house. I don't know what it is. I can't explain it. I don't know what, what? it is, but it has a face and it looks really just uncomfortable. It looks like a sock you know, puppet. You know what? I think I'm gonna bring out like my hot take, like. On the diecast. I got another one. Uh, I like, got one. All right, got you go. More. If you have one more, go ahead. What about it? My whole thing is also an ugly ass car. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Oh wow! <laughs> you're pissing. You're gonna, you're, gonna, you're, gonna pi you're gonna piss <laughs> off Blade so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a or something. I don't know what it is. What is the coolest looking? To be, uh, Larry to, be honest, it. to be honest, it's alright, but I love the opening feature of the hood itself. It actually is pretty nice. Other than that, yeah, it's not. On the front, that thing is ugly, man. It looks like oh, someone really bugged me. You have no feel. It looks like a Batmobile on fucking crack. <laughs> Batmobiles look fucking cool, though. I, 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 I love Batmobiles! I'm just saying, they look like a Batmobile! A fucking, fucking helmet or something, man! It just does not look right to me! It looks, <laughs> it looks so fucking horrible! Okay, it looks I, so I, horrible. I, I, it probably know. jumped up one too. We saw it spin around during that crash scene in the second episode. We uh, saw uh, it. Okay, uh, wait, no, 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 no. Dan Dresden ca caused that accident. Dan, no. he just yeah, came I in did. for the final blow. He's taking all the guts and glory. Fuck, fuck Dan Dresden, that is dumbass. <laughs> oh, sucker, we pile you. Alright, any other else, uh, Jordan? Oh, uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, I think, no, I think that's That's it. a lot of fucks. Yeah. Right, headless, headless, do you have any hot takes? He's deaf and dope, by the way. Oh, you want me to go first, or, like, you're just gonna let James do, do his hot take? Huh? James? I, no, no hot, Sam, sorry. <laughs> but sometimes no, you head, call him he, 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 Headless. Yeah, headless is deaf and for now. Huh? Did he go somewhere? He's deaf and, I, did. I don't know, he didn't even notice. Or, like, notify maybe, us. Maybe he fell asleep, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> would be funny. I do today. have another hot take, though. <laughs> okay, uh, what, what is it? 24-7 is overrated. <laughs> I could <laughs> agree on that one. I could agree on that one. It's uh, just a basic I mean, I can kind of see it as well, well, because... I don't know, quite frankly, I never really cared, like, really all that much for 24-7. The design like, is very a, mid. It's a very Damn. mid design. I do not like it either. All right, it's so boring. All right, should I go next? Sure. Or are you? Sure. Or go yeah. Ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. this is gonna piss off a lot of Teku fans, but um, I don't like Spectite. I don't like it. I don't like Spectite either. Neither Dude, do I. I don't really I don't care, care what it, to be honest. Every, so every I'm not really all that are, mad. Every Teku car fits the criteria, except for Spectite. Spectite's like a fucking buggy compared to like all of the Teku cars. I mean, like, that's why I just like, what the fuck is this car that doesn't even fit the criteria at all? Cause like, I mean, me, it's cooler than Power Rage. I mean, yeah, but yeah, like, the moment when I see Spectite in screen, it just doesn't fit the Teku criteria at all. Should have been like what? I don't know. Not Metal Maniacs, I guess, but it's just like a car on its own. I, I don't. Should have made like another tuner, but no. I don't hate Spectite, but I think it fits just because there needed to be some sort of off-road vehicle for Teku, other than yeah, Drift Tech, because Drift yeah, Tech didn't but, make it into the movie. But to be off -road. honest, road. But to be Battle honest, Spec I think does not strike me as like an off-road. It's more like an open-top kind of LMP. Spectite. Spectite. We're talking about Spectite here. But Battle Spec actually oh. is cool. But Spectite to me, it's just, nah. Maybe 
for me, Drift Tech would have fit so much for Nolo's final car, but even though... Yeah, I think I think Drift Tech is a fucking Karma car. I think Karma would drive Drift Tech. Well, more or less, but still, I'd say Drift Tech would fit more than Spectite in the final movie, because I don't fucking like it. Okay, so, uh, Metal Maniacs. Oh boy, this is... I feel like I'm gonna piss off a lot of people here. Ah, uh, shit. Just okay, maybe... Well, okay, maybe... Flathead Fury looks cool, but it's just I never really gave that much of a shit, to be honest. <laughs> Flathead like, Fury, what's more is that? Oh, that's the fucking... That's the fucking downgrade to Spine Buster. <laughs> 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 the way you just said Tokai this one. I mean, sure, Rolling Thunder and Rat Ratified are actually goofy, huh? but I actually kind of like Ratified a bit. Like, maybe I, I like, kind of like, like... Rat Rod aesthetic. That's why I had like a soft spot for it. It's just maybe Flathead Fury is just not the card that I feel like I would really care about, to be honest. It's just a fucking downgrade. To... They go <laughs> love downgrading the car by the cars. <laughs> like, fucking car. Like,. Like, Carl Wilde went from slingshot to fucking battle spec. Like, what the fuck is battle spec? That's, That's kind fucking... of upgrade, in my opinion. I don't like battle spec. Dumb. I don't like battle no. spec, though. Uh, compared to slingshot, it's just... No. Like, why? So it's such a mid car. Oh, and if you want to talk about downgrades, let's talk about power rage. Oh, uh, no. you're gonna uh, piss off a lot of the Teku fanboys. No, it's funny how, Matt, like, like... Oh, they okay. went from Diora 2, fucking... Probably one of the best cast things Nathan Porch ever made, besides from Toe Jam. And they just downgraded him to a fucking random-ass tuna that no one gives a fuck about. <laughs> that they, for some <laughs> fucking reason, they added to Hot Wheels Unleash and gave it the shittiest dash, which honestly... Fair enough. Like, who the fuck is a fan of Power Rage except for fucking JC? Even then, JC probably only likes it because it's a fucking butt wheeler car. Oh, don't play that. <laughs> <laughs> good good. Alright, so, okay. Now, for the racing drones. I might notice that, like, some of you like RD05 or RD08, but to be honest, I don't really like them. Fuck, I'm actually gonna get killed for this one. I mean, okay, yeah, church, a utility car, eh, like, RD05 is, like, yeah, small, it but it's just, like, like, when I see them in screen, they just look, nah. But to be honest, the car dart on RD08 looks much better than the movie version, or even the fucking toy version. Like, it just looks, it just screams badassery to me. But then at the same time, well, I didn't really give that much of a shit about the car. And also the most popular opinion ever that I probably would even take from the silencers. Octanium looks like a bathtub on wheels. Except you put a canopy in it and an engine in it with 800 horsepower, then yep. It'll go for <laughs> <laughs> That's basically Octanium in a nutshell. So just like, get a bathtub. Get yourself some fenders, get yourself some axles, get yourself a... I think it looks like an 8-cylinder engine, from what it looks like. Then, uh, yeah. I'm gonna drink some milk, bro. Uh, <laughs> is Headless back yet? I'm... Yeah, Headless, he's here. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. What's your, what's your hot take for uh, Hot Wheels? It's our races, specifically. It doesn't matter. It should have continued. Oh. No. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I got awesome. the hot tag. It should have continued. I mean, that hot tag? That, it's kind of cold. <laughs> I got a hot take. Um, uh, what is that? Oh, jeez. Hold on. Let me think. Oh, jeez. Hot take on, like, your shitty... Casting, well, why didn't Kurt win the world race? He could have won it <laughs> if you think about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, come on, why did he lose? No, I mean, like, like for, for real though, if you think about it, if Kurt didn't work for Glorum and was actually a good leader for Street Breed, Kurt would have won the world race, and here's how. Yeah, okay. that's a very good point. 
So he just, he just obviously, to obviously, Roman Kurt won the while. obviously Kurt won the first leg. For Kurt to win the second leg, which by the way he was in first place, uh, before he tried to like blow up the fucking bridge. If he just didn't fucking do that and just kept going, mm-hmm. he probably would have won the second leg because no one would have caught up to him. Secondly, the big spinning wheel thing wasted a lot of the character's time before Kurt even tried blowing it up or anything. And, yeah, even if they tried going backwards, uh, if the bridge was still there, um, how would they really go back anyway? And then on top of that, it's like the the they would be wasting time going backwards to go back to the main track. So they would be in dead last regardless of any of the situations. So Kurt could have won the second leg of the world race, I think. The third leg, if he would have just smacked the wheel off of uh, Kadeem's car... And went, ha, huh, that's not the actual wheel, bitch. He would have fucking won the third leg. Which would have put Street Breed in pole position. Because he would have remembered. But how would he know? He would have remembered. But Kadeem doesn't know that. Maybe he's just trying to trick No, him. Look, okay, this is this is why Banji and Taro didn't go after it. Because if you remember, Dr. Tesla says the wheel is at the end of the track. Which oh, is... Ex- yeah. So Right, that small detail says a lot. <laughs> yeah, it does. Because the Wheel of Power is at the end of the track. The Wheel of Power is literally the finish line of Highway 35. So, in that factor, uh, yeah, if Kurt knocked the fake wheel off of Kadeem, Kadeem would have gone after it. Because Kurt and Kadeem were in the lead at that point. So if he would have knocked the wheel off of his car and kept going he would have won the, th- the third leg which would have put street breed in pole position which if you which if you notice banji won the third leg which is why the road beasts are in pole position so street breed would have been in pole position which would have meant street breed would have been out in front and you know i mean the the fourth leg's kind of a toss-up because you know you don't have the clip drivers fucking up everything um but yeah. i think i think kurt would have won world race if if Kurt would have just not worked for fucking Galorum. Now what about your Fuck like you, hot take? No, what well, about your like hot really take on like theory, was it the accelerations casting? Uh, um, that is the coolest wall burst theory I've ever heard in my life. Uh, right. uh, you should walk for the mess. Oh jeez. You can you can piss off multiple people at the stage because Sparky's you know, fucking I stupid. I hate Sparky. <laughs> How can you hate the fucking robot, man? Because he's an asshole. Come on. He's a little shit. <laughs> oh, actually, uh, also, 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 I got a big hot take. Why is Lonnie so fucking cold to Monkey? Monkey and Lonnie actually work because Monkey is actually super intelligent. Literally creates Nitrox no. three and a half. Like they get like they're a perfect co- match. Awesome. Like what the fuck, Lonnie? Stop and being an not idiot. To mention, Give that man Lonnie a chance. Is a Fucking monkey is a giga chad. No, Lonnie's no monkey doesn't deserve. Like Lonnie doesn't deserve monkey. Like monkey. I mean, I dude, guess dude. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Lonnie's an I idiot. Lonnie for not. Is such a well, hasn't Monkey proven that he's actually a lot more resourceful than most would give him credit for? Like. I get that he's supposed to be like the comic relief, or he's supposed to be like the sort of meek nerd who basically is like, like, haha, he would basically get like his butt kicked like in the lunch line, but Monkey's actually pretty damn badass. Much more smarter, much more clever. He's like, actually. Do, do you guys uh, remember like, the part more when. But bad than he realizes. Like, do, he doesn't no. have to like outright show it. Not that, like, you know, you. like. Do, do you guys remember the part when 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 Mark when Marky's like monkey, what happened to my car? And he tries to grab him and he fucking does a backflip and like lands on the roof of fucking. Uh, and and he, let's also not oh, mention oh. like after the second time he gets like absorbed by the sweeper he goes like oh no not this time you can't get the monkey man right because like from what I re- so from what because like from what I recall I think ratified like a right hand right hand drive right. If I'm not mistaken, uh, it's like yes, a right- yes, yeah, it's like a right-hand drive. Because considering that the spine buster was on the left and he got like grabbed by it, <laughs> yes, drones only grab like the <laughs> left-hand yes. drive one, not the right Monkey. one. Monkey is such a fucking unit, you guys. He's like the anti-Jar Jar Binks. 
He's goofy and shit, but he's actually smart. Because Jar Jar isn't smart. He and I love how... And I love, the, and I love the fact that, like, he just drives a sweeper only to fucking ram the multiple RD-07s trying to go in his way. That was just so have, funny, but then it's just so well... good. I have a hot take about the sweepers. What? They're ugly? Are they useless? They're fast. They are fucking useless. <laughs> they I are knew, useless. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my god. The no, only if Glorin like, just no. The thing is, when Glorin first brought them out, they fucking failed, and it and and instead of just like fucking discontinuing them, he was like, "We'll make more. Why would you make more of something that's failed?" And the dumb, why did they fucking use it in the fucking pipeline room? To be honest, if I were Galorum, I would have told her to. I would have been like, uh, alright, you know what, let's just send more cars and sell sweepers. The f that one failed anyway, so. It's like, I think, I, the thought, I think at the moment she was like completely desperate for I do not know what or whatever. Or it's I like, think like, you know, she thinks that like her plan would work, but no, never mind. It probably did not because the sweepers got fucking destroyed like got, easily. The fucking drones just proceed to lose 10 brain cells every time they go on a track. No, I mean... No, the like, soldiers, yeah. They're, so they're, they're so smart in, like, the skull realm and kind of the swamp realm, and then the drones just fucks up idea one and they just proceed to become a joke. Alright. The fucking... The fucking star from Battle Force fucking which take their asses out the storm realm. Hey guys, I'm I'm getting ready to go gear up and eat and pass out. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna catch you on the flip side, okay? Do it right. for right. as well, actually. To be fair. All right. Bye, Goat Man. Bye, Jordan. Bye. Peace out, guys. Peace bye bye. Out. Speaking of which, uh, what are the card notes that you want to see in film? But like, if they were made again, definitely. What card do you want definitely. to see in the film? Definitely, drift tech. No, like card card realms. I mean, card realms. Oh, uh, desert and and monument. Uh, and blizzard, and reactor. Micro. I want to see micro realm. For me, a reactor, because like, it's it's a cool idea of like how cars just they just zoom like fucking three hundred miles per hour while trying to avoid like radiation. <laughs> <laughs> and big like machines and shit. Yeah, dude. I mean, like, at first I did not know why it would like not not like at first like I thought like the rea uh, reactor around like cell did not make sense. But then like, what from this guy's comment? <laughs> no, like from this guy's com no. Like actually, I did not know because like it was like a sound buffer. But considering the fact that like I think nuclear reactors were like really loud, like inside it, that's why it sort of makes sense. What does the what does the reactor realm accelerator charger do? Sound buffer, basically just deafens everything around you. I thought that was I, I thought that was the sound realm's accelerator charger ability. No, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause like, hold on, there's like an accelerator. Yeah, it, it was soundproof the driver's car. I mean, huh. why would the, you uh, need that though? Yeah, even though like it's just meh. I don't think it's. I, I don't think I'll find that useful anyway. But I don't, still, like, I don't really understand like what that does. It's you, know, sound, you, know it's it's, you know what? You know what? Do you know what it should have been next? Sorry, sorry, no. What? It should have been baseline's mega base for like on your car. Should have been should have been that one to be honest, but now well. Like produce like a bunch of sound to like fuck up shit. Like Dude, a massive oh. shockwave. Jesus Christ! What would be even the, like the most useful like Excella charger? I think the uh, water realm because you can drive on water. Oh yeah, you could just basically do that, except for the fact that you have half to gas later on. Or the metro realm one. Oh yeah, the warp warp realm. Oh yeah, the warp realm Excella charger. So you just teleport one there, then another, boom. Or or the monument because you can slice through shit. Oh yeah, the right. Swamp in, the, realm. In, the, in, in like the dream sequence where Galorum just takes over the entire fucking world. But I don't know, like, you think Storm Realm's like kind of useless? Not like, not really, it's just like, 
it's barely even used. Like the Storm Realm Exocharge, you just like, if your card gets hit by lightning, oh wait, it doesn't even affect you. But then it's just only at some rare cases where like Storm Realm. Don't... I don't understand doesn't why. Doesn't like. I don't understand why people say that the Storm Realm has rain. There's no rain in the Storm Realm. Some people I feel say like there should have been rain. Yeah, it, I don't know. It, it's weird that like people are like, yeah, there's rain. It's like, no, there's no rain. It's fog and lightning. The fog realm. I think the fog realm accelerator charger is pretty kick ass. What's what is it? You could literally see through fog, but then like just imagine like what is it? Just imagine you using that fog realm accelerator charger while making a blind attack. Like initial deep blind attack, but then you're just activating a Falk Realm Excel Charger. I feel like oh, that would shit. be the Cavern Realm Excel Charger, was be a blind attack. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, you turn off your headlights, then you use the Excel Charger, and then you'll be able to see in the dark. Who needs headlights? But man, Swamp Realm actually would really be useful as well, but then at the same time, it's. No, like, it's like. The thing is that, like, it just sprouts the road. Then, like, it just basically, you can basically, like, create it however or wherever you want. What does the Cosmic Realm Accelerator Charger do? You basically go light speed. Oh, you go really fast? Yeah, basically that. So, if you, want to cheat your way, if you want to cheat your way through a race, then, like, you'll, you'll win. That's kind of weird. I guess that only works in, like,. Perspective of uh, like the card game, not like I don't know how a that well would work. race. Uh, more or less. I actually I ended up creating my own uh, Acceleracer's realms, and mm. one of them is called the Galactic Realm. Um, what is what's that about? It's in space, and there's like a big temple, like in a you. You drive through space, and then, like, the ending of the track, like, a half part ending to the track is a big Acceleron space temple. And mm. the Accelerate Charge you get from that track gives you the ability to drive through space. That's, uh... That's like the anti-ground module in Hollow Zones. Yeah. That's, a, that's not that of a bad idea. Uh, the fire realm. So I've made the gra the the fire realm, the the pressure realm, uh, the lucid realm. I haven't really made like any of realms, but I think like I'll just leave it as as of what it is at the moment. The Zuma realm. I have a lot of realms I actually made. Up. Just in just imagine like a racing drone headquarters. Uh, was it? Just imagine a racing drone headquarters, except it's in real life. Would you go in there? Yeah, it'd be pretty sketch. No, uh, but it'd be hella cool though. No, just imagine like, was it? Just imagine like some diecasters. Uh, from what I can tell, I have like a accelerations community group in Indonesia. I wish like. They could try to team up and try to make like the racing drone headquarters, but it's like a fucking big diorama. I hope they could do that someday for like a diecast expo in my country, but still, I probably wouldn't be there the moment I, the moment it's in October anyway. Yeah. Hmm. Imagine being in America again. Hall was exposed. Could have been in the UK. I felt like my hot take. I felt like I kind of like. I like, missed my opportunity to put it, put like my two cents in, but uh, I feel like I basically yeah, I've given my piece, so I it's just nah. Mm. I pissed off a bunch of people with mine. <laughs> your, your shit's your shit's funny. <laughs> but to be honest, but, like um, mine would not piss you off at all, but more like I probably would piss off the other people because like I know for sure that like. You know, not to shit on the Exorcist Collectibles. I mean, they're 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 a good channel, I'd say. But uh, from what I can remember, if that's the name or not, I probably would. Accelerator Hub. Up. Yeah, yeah, because like they rank like all the cars. I didn't disagree on. I disagreed on Spectre being the number one because I, I was just so confused at like why is this fucking buggy number one? 
why is it everyone's favorite too? Because like to me, Reverb is so much better than Spectite. And for me, and that's why like, <laughs> that's why I like, I didn't really okay. like the ranking of the, was it? The accelerators, cars or whatever. Yeah. But, uh, just like, this is just like my, my sort of like hypothetical, whole sort of just take. Like, like I know I didn't care for like giving my odd take, but if I had to sort of give, give one anyway, like in terms of Teku, I will probably have to agree. Yeah, Spectite just, I'm sorry, but Spectite just did not work for me. Uh, yeah right like it it ain't it chief like i don't get how people say like oh it's my favorite type i also of don't like, understand how a buggy like that could get like a 1000 horsepower momentary boost like 1000 horsepower from that tiny little thing yeah. i mean like, if they if they could do it with old smoky they could do it with anything well, i mean i guess when you put it like that i guess I guess it makes sense Wait, what has like that what, 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 uh, what, what has a thousand horsepower and doesn't make sense? Like it's just a momentarily a boost, that's about it. But for me the a thousand horsepower that could make sense is just fucking reverb, because like I mean come on. You're literally driving a sort of hypercar like like what is it? Like JD not JDM, it's like basically Japanese tuned hypercar, let's just say. I mean those, Actually, those exist. Thing. I, I think reverb is somewhat of like a, a Japanese aesthetic supercar, more or less. But also yeah. like a Le Mans car at the same time. For me, yeah, then, I, for me, I'd say it's a mix of Europe, European and Japanese all together. Like it just blends like quite well. Yeah, more or less. And then the, didn't the original designer base it off of a man? Was it a Diablo or Merciago for probably a Diablo. the reverb? Probably Diablo. No, no, but like actually, actually, if you look at it a little bit up close, it should it should have been the Acura HSC concept that looks a lot like Reverb, except for the fact that the body that the body shape is more or less feels like Zodic, but it's basically uh, Reverb is basically an upscale version of the HSC. So yeah. Um, all right, I mean, guys. It's kind I, of I, more I, like I, I a gotta, Lamborghini gotta, Diablo mixed guys, with the W12 Nardo. I gotta take. Let off. the man speak. I gotta go. <laughs> so I'm gonna end the podcast, but you guys can still talk. So I'll, I'll talk to you guys. Later. Okay. But that's th fun. Though. This Holy this shit. will be on my channel at some point. So, uh, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Dad. Bye.